and check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one stop shop for all your jury making needs. At Jury Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Gorgeous, beautiful creatures, Natalie. Everybody, oh, hi. hi. How are you? I'm good. Every time I see you, I swear you get more beautiful. Oh, I mean no, it. Do you mean that. it? Isn't she? Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> um, I hope you've had a wonderful day with a lovely Derek and, of course, our lovely Alison. Oh, I, I love Alison. Alison, I've paid you money, by the way. I have paid you. Yeah, she gave me a bank detail so I could transfer the money that I owe her. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's from us regularly shopping on air together. Um, yeah, we have got so much today. Um, um, including your one-to-one, -one, which we are going to put on pre-order because we have got a massive quantity. Um, but don't be complacent about that because, as you know, things do sell out quite frequently. Um, how about an absolutely exquisitely faceted ruby that you could very easily take to a jeweler's and have set into gold, but you being the wonderful talent and jewellery makers that you are, you can already turn it into your own um, amazing design with wire work, with, I don't know, seed beading, whichever it might be. Here it is. Here is that very ruby. The quality of this ruby, mm. yeah, is absolutely amazing. Comes within um, you know, our collector's cases. Totally and utterly natural. I mean, look at the quality of that, Natalie. Isn't it it's amazing? Beautiful. This is the things that kind of I used to aspire to mm. and think I'd never, ever, 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 ever be able to own because they're going to be way beyond yeah. my budget. Um, thank goodness for Jewelry Maker, though. Thank okay. goodness. Mm. So you can pre-order this Jewelry Makers along with so many other star buys that we've got coming up. Um, so let me just give you a little sneak peek. So I've got, your, what, how do we call them? Mar oh, marvellous, marvellous, marvellous Marquise, marvellous <laughs> most <most-bidding. laughs> I don't pull that off at all. 
the, the, the posh voice. Definitely, definitely don't pull that one off. Marvellous marquee, darlings. Look at this for a gorgeous combination. Ah, oh, I love it. You've got your beautiful um, amethyst teamed alongside your green onyx. Top drilled. You can pre-order. It's coming as a star buy. Actually, within this hour, it's coming up in um, just under half hour's time. How beautiful is that as a colour combination? Mm, like beautiful flowers. Yeah, the lovely pieces, flowers. Yeah. Prong set. Mm. I mean, you could just literally take one and suspend it from like a little a little wrap loop on a chain and yeah. it'll be amazing so that's coming up at 6 30 i've also got mega micro i'm liking all the bundle names mm. you've had your eyes on I this haven't you literally as soon as i saw the sparkle that was it <laughs> like a little magpie oh me too look but look at, at it that, it is yeah. pretty yeah, and natalie that. said i've never seen tiger's eye micro faceted it's gorgeous no, isn't it i haven't well team that alongside some beautiful peridot and some lovely amethyst and you've mm. got a really gorgeous combination i was eyeing up mm. natalie's bracelet i wonder if you could maybe recreate something like this with which we'll show you in a few moments um with of course your micro faceted uh genuine gemstones as a to your Mayuki. I don't see why not. Um, we also have got a bundle of abalone. In fact, we've got two bundles of abalone, which again would go beautifully with this. Not one, but two abalone cabochons. Yeah, yeah. How amazing would they be mm. alongside your micro faceted or your mega micro bundle, which I'm holding just here. I've also got your abalone bars in a bundle. I've got pearls in a bundle. What haven't I got in a bundle? That's probably an easier question to ask me, to be truthful. Um, <laughs> so, should we say hello to our lovely crew? I think we should. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, not that one. We're not going. We're not going to say hello to the one in behind the camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> only joking she knows how much i love her and my little girl goes calls her emmy 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 oh. emmy oh. yeah she loves our emma does willow don't we all emma perry everybody oh. you got full name then and everything yeah. you know that's how important you are <laughs> that's how important you are <laughs> um yeah we are reunited reunited it's Graham and now. <laughs> it's not Graham, it's Wayne. It's just, it's just, just sticking. Sorry, I do know your name is Wayne. It's just gonna stick. It's just gonna stick. I don't think he's happy about that. <laughs> um, I answer to anything, so feel free to call me whatever you wish. I promise I will not be offended. <laughs> I've given you the promise there. I've given you the promise. You wait to uh, honestly. We might need to filter what goes into my ear throughout the next four hours. And you know what? It is so lovely to have this man back. You know, we can't. We can't. There is no jewelry maker with our own beautiful, gothic, grumpy Paul. <laughs> <laughs> just see a hand. He's not really grumpy. No. Not at all. It's just got that. For some reason, he's got that kind of. People just think he is, and he's really not. <laughs> he's really, really not. Um, so it's so, <laughs> it's so nice to have you back, Paul. I'd never leave us ever, ever, ever again. Good, good. He did say he shan't. I shan't leave you ever, ever, <laughs> ever again. And let's not forget the gorgeous lady who makes all of this possible. It's our lovely Lucy. Whoa. Hi, Luce. Are you okay? Looking very important there. You look kind of like a newsreader there with your papers and everything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be she's gonna be keeping us up on our uh, you know on our current affairs, um, and of course, lovely Natalie, darling, how have you been? I've been okay, yes. Good, good, yes, good. What have we got in store? The kits. Um, we've got two. The first kits abalone. Um, with some peridot. Funnily enough, peridot um, microfaceted seed beads mm -hmm. and some Swarovski. And one of these kits I might have made for you. Did you know this? No. I actually made one of your you? kits. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Well, it's hopefully lovely. you like them, and hopefully you like them as well. No pressure. I keep doing that to myself. <laughs> I, keep, you know, I keep telling people that I've made kits, and then, and then like, oh, my goodness, what if they don't sell? What if they don't? <laughs> it did really well today, actually, by the way, Wayne, my kits. Did really, really well. Yeah, so I was, like, quite, quite impressed with myself. <laughs> so hopefully tonight's will as well. I do love an interactive show, though. So um, this Sunday evening, please text in. Tell us what you're up to. It's absolutely dreary, cold, and miserable. Is anybody else contemplating the heating? Mm, yeah. <coughs> I've put the heating. Did you put it on, on yesterday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I must admit, I'm contemplating it because <clears throat> I, 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 I can't, I can't stand being cold. I hate being cold. I hate being boiling hot as well. But I don't like getting out of bed in the morning. Where oh. Oh, it's not a good start to the day. Oh, I'm cold. Dressing gown now. But, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, dressing gown I've had all summer. You can't. Yeah. I never. I never. Never put the dressing gown away and the fluffy oh, no. zippers. Oh no, I do. Do you? Yeah. No, all year round. 
Am I the only person that does that? All year round, I have my fluffy dressing gown. <laughs> Even, yeah, yeah, but I don't necessarily always put it on, but it's always out. So you know, when you get out, when you get out the bath and stuff. I have it on my door, but I don't put it on for most of the summer. Well, no. I've got a summer dressing gown most of the time. Um, <laughs> all very, very important conversations that are going on right now. So, you tell me, what do you do? I don't actually put winter wardrobe clothes away either. Ooh. Oh, I do. No, no. They're going do you? Loft, yeah. Do they? No, yeah. mine are always out. Um, anyway, let's get cracking, <laughs> shall we? Um, everything is available. Well, not everything, but lots of goodies are available for pre-order, including your abalone bars, including your abalone cabochons, including your ma uh, marvellous marquees, including uh, your mega micro. Gosh, there's a lot of M's. Mm. Including your wonderful ruby, so you can pre-order those um, ahead of the game. But we are going to get this show underway with some really beautiful chrome diopside cabochons. No wow. way! Uh, right, Wayne, would you would you care to tell me how much this is going to be? When did this arrive in the vault? No way! Okay, this gemstone is really formed in large sizes. If you are actually with, is it brand new? Okay, okay. This gemstone doesn't form in large sizes because, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you saw that actual, um, that actual rough. Very, very, very little, I will open it in a second. Very little is actually of this amazing gem quality. Um, and furthermore, because it's natural, it can sometimes actually suffer with what we call color, ooh, oh. color extinction. Oh dear, oh dear, there we go. Um, but zero color extinction at all with this. My goodness, these are amazing quality. Look at that glow. Look at that beautiful glow. I'll try and pick it up. Wow. That is beautiful. Isn't it just? Mm. Perfect bottle green. Now, I'm just going to turn to um, our lovely Paul. Well, in fact, everybody here, how long have we been um, uh, talking about this gemstone? Yeah, years, decades probably. Is it one of the first gemstones Wayne ever sold? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So decades. I think all of us would agree then that you don't actually... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have you not been talking about it for decades? <laughs> Is it just me? Do you know what? I've already, I've already t established today. I'll get this then. This will make you feel better, um, Wayne. I've been working with gemstones for 20 years. Over 20 years, actually. 22 years. 22 years I've been working with gemstones. Ah, oh, you say all the right things. Say all the right things, therefore. But look at that glow. You don't often get that size and, and have that consistent quality. I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. And every single one that I pick up, let's pick up the other one, which is the corresponding size. This is brand new. Well, it's been on, I beg your pardon, it's been on your screens once. I've never seen it before. And I do not know how we've managed to get hold of it. You've got one which is larger. <coughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. Twenty four ninety five. I think I would pay for, happily pay for one of those cabochons. That you've got two carrots accumulatively. So I'm betting that sort of. Um, let me see if I can actually do the maths here. I'm going to say three carrots in the large and one and a half carrots maybe in the two smaller ones. But they're not that much smaller. So um, it might be. I don't know. It might be. It might be four and one carrot each, whichever. But you've got six carrots of natural beauty. Definitely worthwhile actually getting your certificate of authenticity. Diopside uh, grows all around the world. You can get it in different lo locations. However, chrome diopside is the one that you want. I'm not saying the others aren't beautiful because they really are, but chrome diopside is definitely the one which will get, um, usually acquires the most money. There is rumours that the, the mine is no longer in production. Um, I can't confirm that, can't deny it. It's, it's, it's one of those which is very much speculated, but the Western societies um, like us, we actually really struggle to get hold of this gemstone. So I'm amazed. I've got to be honest, I'm amazed this isn't a deal of the day. How many do we have of them? Oh, okay, there's only 32, that'll be why. Um, to be truthful, I'm, that, that, that's literally shocked me. Um, and I've already got my order open today, so if there's any of them left, I'm going to be adding this to it. I mean, mm. why wouldn't we? They are amazing. There's a, mm. there, there, there will come a time, you know, folks, not to scaremonger anybody, but there will come a time when chrome dioxide is no longer available firsthand. We have to either invest it, um, <coughs> sorry, inherit it rather, um, or possibly pay through the roof nose uh, prices, which is, which is what we would actually expect and what I expect right here, right now. Massive congratulations to Celia, Deborah, Janet, Angela, Sonia. Um, good luck, I should say, to Shaolin, Emma, Sue and Sean. It's in your baskets, but it's not checked out. Did you say, how many have we got? 24? 
24 of them left within the vault. And I'm actually holding the two smaller ones. Let me pick up that large one too. They're, they're, these are incredible. You know what? If I actually spoke to any, any gem trader and said, we've got uh, six carrots across three solitaires and we're selling them at 24.95, they would buy them. That's beyond wholesale in my opinion. You know, I, I reckon most, most traders would actually really struggle to get hold of it at all. So you can see where the quantity, if we were given the chance to buy thousands of these, we would have definitely done it 100%. If you asked gemologist Marie, she would have 100% have said yes. Um, <clears throat> but we only ever managed to actually purchase 32. That is how scarce this gemstone is. It is actually one of the bigger sizes, you're so right. You know, there's a, there's a wealth of knowledge in the gallery, don't you know? And I'm not just talking about in, in their producing skills and their directing skills, in their gemstone skills. Yeah, you're so right there, Wayne. You know, it, it really forms over half a carat. You rarely get, rarely get this gemstone in gem quality like this over 50 points. You've got that three times over, and it's just 24.95. I have to be honest, I have to be honest, I think this... Would, would be perfectly suitable for your golds and your platinums even. Um, I've, done, I've done chrome diopside showcases. Again, Paul will remember these. Showcases, which is like an entire hour of made jewellery, uh, made up pieces in jewellery. And, you know, you'd never find this kind of size. Never, ever find this size in a piece of jewellery. I sound like I'm ranting a little bit, but it's only because I'm passionate. <laughs> Half the stock has gone. Sue, Kelvin, well done. Um, Janice, congratulations. Ulva, Rio, good luck. You do need to check out um, if you want to guarantee uh, your success. Um, I I'm really surprised, and I didn't know anything about this opportunity prior to literally now, um, had I have done, I would 100% be saying, darling, if you're watching, please buy it. That is, that is astonishing. And let's be honest, um, we're all collectors. Do you collect, do you collect Wayne? Do you collect gemstones? Sensible, really, isn't it? As, is this in your collection? Yeah. Yeah, it's in, it was one of the first editions to mine, too. And you've got, do you see the rubelite today? Oh, beautiful. You've got a four-carat rubelite. Wow. Ah, it was given to you. How nice. No. Why, why do I never get given no. four carats of rubelite? Never. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Moving on. Um, I had to beg, plead um, for purple sapphire. I had to buy it. I still had to. I still had to buy it. And I, 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 it was for. I launched purple sapphire once upon a time. Um, very, very, very rare. And I had to beg and plead to be able to buy my mum one for her 60th birthday. And it is stunningly beautiful. I think that's probably one of the rarest gemstones I've actually got. Um, alongside alongside your beautiful chrome dioxide well done to collectors on that um okay should we do some gorgeous sapphire blue sapphire rondelles <gasps> there's so many high-end gemstones but yet a really mixed price for you know affordable prices mm. today I mean, incredible. I'm looking across at your kit there, Natalie. This would mm. look absolutely beautiful with the abalone, don't you think? Yes, it would, yeah. Definitely. Pick out the blues. Out abalone the blues. will go with everything, though, it won't does, it? Yeah. it? Just Yeah, it would, actually. I mean, when you've shown those cabochons earlier, yeah. it, it does make up so many of the, uh, <coughs> the strands on the bars. There. You can pick a colour, really. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Sixteen ninety five for genuine Burmese sapphire. Wow. Mm, look at that. I, I tell you what, I'm proud as punch to work for Jewelry Maker, you know. <laughs> you know, not only because they're lovely people, and they are lovely people, and it's a really pleasant job because I get to speak to you lot quite frequently. Um, and, you know, we get to bring you high-end, genuine gemstones from prestigious locations like Burma. Burma is renowned for, for, for unearthing some really beautiful, beautiful saturations and quality just like this. Um, yeah, I mean, I, this was a strand that... When we first launched Sapphire, it would have been 50, 60, 70 pounds at the very, very least. Mm. Um, you could just literally pop this onto some of your beading thread. We had earlier on in the day the uh, Flexrite um, sterling silver wire. Um, hopefully you're watching then and you managed to secure yours. But this is the kind of calibre of gemstones that I would actually put alongside that, don't you think? Gives you great fluidity. Have yeah. you worked with that? The Flexrite? Flex yes, I have. It's yeah, lovely, it's isn't it? It's really, really lovely, lovely and soft. Yeah. 
and it looks gorgeous without any gemstones yeah, on yeah as some of our viewers actually messaged in about it too and um, for those of you that are september babies this is your birthstone you'll probably already know that won't you <laughs> so yeah it's not far away our birthday it's not far away you know um and i have to say i have to say um for i'm not with you on wednesday but if you are watching vicky tune in on she'll know who i'm talking to uh who, who um who, who it is vicky we were messaging the other day if you are with me i'm not in on um wednesday but tune in on tuesday please because i know you're celebrating your birthday as well 16.95 well done moving on to strawberry pink quartzite oh this looks really mm. juicy yeah that's color pop it's almost coral like in yeah. its color isn't it a really lovely pretty not too girly girly mm. not too not not too much of a hot pink it's a, a very wearable pink like a fuchsia like a fuchsia a fuchsia flower they tend to be this color don't they three pound 95 mm. it would make it fuchsia colored yes i believe it would did anyone else used to pop the fuchsia flowers when they were a kid no. No, just me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have these like little bells, don't they? Oh, and if I know you, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, if you squeeze them, they go. <laughs> <laughs> just me that used to do that. <laughs> used to get great satisfaction, Paul, out of popping them. Yes. Indeed. My mum used to be like, Eleanor, stop it! Stop it, stop it. But then they'd all bloom the following day. But yeah, it is this gorgeous colour, isn't it? Almost like a rose pink as well. Uh, 150 carats, uh, £3.95 pence only for beautiful quartzite. Um, check out your baskets. It's a stash builder. The fact that this is faceted means you don't only just get that colour, you get beautiful luster across the exterior of it. Oh, I can almost taste the sweetness of these. It's like a coolie, yes. isn't it? Like a strawberry it is. coolie. Yes. Mm. Meringue mm. cream and strawberry coolie. Stop. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Make my mouth water. Someone please go and get a, a, an Eaton mess, please. <laughs> anybody? Is anybody available? There is, there is a sole dessert restaurant um, by us. Yes, there is. Um, it does deliver. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, it does. Maybe we should have a have a delivery of the sweet variety. <laughs> that would that would be quite nice. That would be quite nice. However, I did eat. I, I, I had donuts already once this week. This week, perhaps I shouldn't. I shouldn't have indulged in something like a meringue. Oh yeah. What would be your dessert of choice then, Emma? Oh gosh. Um, mm. Some kind of chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Mm. What would be I yours? Don't know. Um... Mm. Oh, it's a hard know. one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to think about it. <coughs> oh, baked Alaska. It's proper 80s, that one is, Paul. Love it. Um, I'm, I would definitely go with a lemony, something lemony. Yeah. I like a something lemony citrusy, dessert. Yes. Yeah, like a, like a brulee, uh, brulee, lemon mm. brulee or something like that. I do like something lemony. And a key lime pie. Oh, mm. nice. Key lime pie. Cheese, yummy. New York cheese yummy, 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 yummy. Nice Cheesecake. Well. Oh, mm. gosh. <laughs> or a, tri a trifle. You can't go back wrong with a trifle. Although, although, sorry, this is, this is making me chuckle already. You know when you've, got, you've just made a trifle, yeah? And you put that spoon in for the first, you put the spoon in for the first time and you get, and you, 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 and you get that suction, that kind of, that, yeah. <laughs> you know, when you do it, you the first scoop of a trifle. <laughs> does, any, does anyone else find that quite satisfying when you go, that's my sound. <laughs> I find that really enjoyable. The first scoop. The first scoop. Right then, let's bring you some rainbow moonstone in granules. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think I will tip these out, but those of you that are doing your enamel, those of you that are doing your resin, mm. um, I know you got your enamel kit, didn't you? Was it I your did. I saw your yes. name. I did I see your name. I haven't started using it yet. But I'm very these excited. are a brand new premiere. Yeah, it's such fun. Mm. You could literally just sprinkle these on top of your enamel and your polymers. Let's not forget, oh, my polymers you've got to bake. Okay, so what about your cerulean then? You could definitely put it yeah. on your cerulean. Um, <clears throat> yeah, do you remember the days when we used to do gem art? <laughs> Do you remember gem art? Um, that was basically gem quality granules like this. Um, and you can, you can literally paint with them if you like, kind of incorporate Ooh. them into, um, into artwork. So you'd use a little bit of your glue and sprinkle it along. Um, nice in actually uh, uh, sort of your lockets, you know, the transparent lockets. Yeah. So you can actually have the gemstone, uh, the actual gemstones in there. Uh, they're just really pretty. Um, we had the other day, 
um, acrylic baubles. Did you see those on air? You can actually put genuine gemstones in the bottom of them. Mm. That's quite something. Nice. That's 140 carats of rainbow moonstone. You will still get the, get the adolescence from this, you know. You will still get it. You know, I, I, it's, it's just really, really cool. You could probably put it in, um, incorporate it into your, um, your card making. You could incorporate it probably into your painting, for those of you that actually do painting, to create great texture mm. if you wanted. Brand new premiere, I haven't got many of them though. Um, ah, you are watching. Hiya, hiya Vicky, hiya Jane. Hello to you, Mary and Jerry. Yeah, um, lovely to have your company. Yeah, I haven't seen gem art in years. I can't remember the last time it was on air. <clears throat> yeah, I can't remember the last time it was actually on air. Um, but you use it in lots of different mediums, and especially as we're now starting to do the resin, you know, just imagine a few of these, oh, little scoop. Be beautiful, yeah. And you'd still yeah. see that adolescence. They'd almost be floating, wouldn't they? Mm. Especially if you choose your colourless resins as well. Um, Got to move on. That's, that's lovely. I like that. Me too. Mm. It's intriguing, isn't it? Shall we do some amethyst in cabochons? They are mahoosive. Mahoosive. Gigantic. We were talking about our favourite words the other day. What's your favourite word? Oh, gosh. Um, oh, I humongous know. came humongous, up. Yeah. Humongous. They are humongous. They are massive. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I like that one, actually. It's quite an unusual shape. It is. Mm. It's, it, it, they've got great depth to them mm. and amazing colour. Let me pick them up um, one at a time. Look at that for a beautiful, beautiful amethyst. Prong set in your wire work, mm. yeah. seed beaded on your backing foundation. Yeah, that's what I'd do. Yeah, I think that's what yeah. I would do. Great pleochroism. From this angle, I know you can't see it, but I'm looking kind of, and you can see the differing shapes. These are, some of these are cushions, some of them are ovals. I've got some pairs and ovals. But from this angle, you know, where I'm actually sat, I'm looking this direction, I can see a real, real pool of blue at the bottom of your amethyst because it is a highly pleochroic gemstone. I mean, look at that. How often do you actually see this kind of depth in gemstones? Creates mm. great texture in your designs, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. Do you go for sort of like uh, um, your cabochons? Do you, do you like working with chunky cabochons? Yeah, I do. I find it easier, to be honest. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I do a lot of seed beading, so it's nice because they can sort of, um, they sort of, um, wrap, you know, wrap themselves frame or around. frame around them, and uh, it's a lot easier. That's actually. that's good to know mm. because I suppose you've got you've got that great depth there, haven't you? Mm. I mean, if you do your your cocktail rings, Claire McDonald's cocktail rings DVD, mm. imagine that in one one statement ring. Yeah. That would be magnificent, wouldn't it? In total, you're looking at 190 carats, 19.95. Again, I would pay it for the one. I would pay it just for one of those um, amethysts, without doubt. Knowing that I've I've already got an amazing saving for that kind of quality of saturation. Um, but yeah, picture this alongside your micro, your mega micro bundle. That would be absolutely exquisite. Um, like Natalie said, alongside all of your seed beads as well, be beautiful. I've got quite a few microfaceted gemstones coming up today. Um, or simply just sort of fix to a backing foundation and bead bezel. That's what I do because I'm useless at wire work. Absolutely useless. And I haven't got the patience for seed beading because uh, I'm, 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 I'm one of those people that can't just sit for hours mm. doing, um, doing, doing seed beading, which is what it takes, isn't it? A lot of patience does, and a lot of time yeah. and a lot of commitment. So, yeah, I'm all about the sewing because you can cheat. You can kind of put about 10 on at once. Yeah. <coughs> right, let's bring you let, some sterling silver. <laughs> this is nice, is it new? Mm. I've not seen this one before. It's very, very Tiffany's. Lovely. Which part do I pick up first, the toggle or the clasp? Decisions, decisions. It's a pretty clasp, mm. isn't it? So let me just tilt that forward, because can you see? You've got um, basically a, a cone, which you'll use some of your jewellery making glue, your E6000, yeah. hypo cement, something yeah. like that, to put all of your, whether it be chain, whether it be seed beads. Yeah, or um, kumahimo cool. Yeah. These tend to be used, you know, with uh, kumahimo. I've seen this sort of shape, nice. cone shape, so that's beautiful. Really yeah. lovely in Kumahimo. Mm. Bring back Kumahimo. I'd like yeah. to. I'd like to have a go again of Kumahimo. Yeah. It's good fun. Um, mm. But there's no reason why your cords can't be finished with such luxury as sterling silver, just like this. Um, you've got Mark Smith Monday tomorrow, haven't you? So I would imagine he'll be uh, talking, bringing you some cords at some point. Yeah. Um, why not actually putting? Ah, oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. You know your leather cord. Just yes. literally gluing yeah. a piece of leather cord mm -hmm. in there. How yeah. nice would that be? It'd work. I quite like multiple the idea strands of, that. of it. Yes. Could. And we had that. When did we have the leather cord? Uh, was it yesterday or today? Can't remember. Today morning. 
This morning. Today, was it today this morning? morning? Today morning. <laughs> today morning. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. Have a little look back on our website and you will see um, all of the leather that we actually brought you. So just imagine one piece actually glued mm. in there. How cool would that be? And Emma, you've been eyeing up a, a leather bracelet, haven't you? Mm. Maybe. 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 I know you have. <laughs> I know you have. Um, but look, you could recreate it. It would probably cost you less than £10 with yeah. sterling silver. Oh, I might have to buy one of these. We've got many, Wayne. Uh, oh, that's not many. <laughs> less than 50. They're not going to, they're not going to, at that, at that kind of price, they're not going to hang around, are they? I'm going to do exactly the same as Celia and multi-buy on them. Um, without doubt, it is almost time, jewelry makers, for your first amazing star buy. They certainly are marvellous, and they certainly are marquise. But you don't just get the one strand, you get multiple. And they're after this. <laughs> Not one, but two. There is so much that you can do with these, Natalie, isn't there? There is, yeah. You can, uh, you know, do the tiara twists. Yeah. Have them as hair vines. Uh, the same thing in necklaces. Yeah. I am a massive fan, and I did actually call mm. it green onyx earlier on. Um, it's actually green agate, I beg your pardon. Mm. But you get that same kind of beautiful glow. Bear with yeah. me, I'm just going to twist them together. You get that same amazing glow, don't you? Because there's like a semi-transparency there. These are top drilled. So yeah, your tiara twists, you could use them just as individual pendants. Yeah. You could treat them as cabochons if you yes, wanted to. Good. You don't have to, because yeah. uh, you can't actually see the drill hole. No can't actually see it especially if you incorporate it into your wire work then you could possibly actually well that can be a starting point you get two strands the strands themselves um, are, d are long strands are they what 30 centimeters they certainly look it um, and each of those marquees are exactly the same size so yet yeah, perfect like Natalie said earlier on for making some really beautiful flowers if you were with me and Alison earlier on this morning you'd have seen in her second kit she had some really lovely um, carved leaves you could incorporate mm. these in amongst the carved leaves which I think would look really really beautiful I mean look at that it's it, it just one on a pair of a bit like the earrings that I saw you'd made is it in the second kit yes in the second in the kit, second kit. Yeah. just one of them on a head pin mm. looks so pretty so so pretty simple yet effective and because they actually have got that really intense color um, you know that they, 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 they can stand on their own yeah, quite easily um, in terms of the actual sizes of them I haven't got them here Wayne how many do we what size are they individually because, I mean, they're way above an, an average calibration, aren't they? 12 by 6 in your green agate, 50 carats, and you're getting 28 pieces of those. So being very specific. Um, <clears throat> 65 carats for your, um, for your amethyst, and they are 12 by 6. Um, you get... A 30, they're 38 centimetre strands. That's a lot of rings if you wanted to. Um, did you see the demonstration that, that, that Alison did earlier on with that twisted ring with the actual wire weaving? Just put one of those at either end, which she very kindly gave to me. 14.95. Marquise is one of the most expensive, one of the most ex uh, wasteful, yeah, wasteful cuts because you've got those very dramatic, um, those dramatic angles, if you like. Even without the facets, even with it being actually what we call it, like a, a smooth Marquise, it is still very, very expensive, and yet we're bringing it to you at £7.50, effectively, at each strand. I'm looking again across, Natalie, at your, mm. your first kit. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. I think they would work beautifully with it, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. yeah. You could just literally yeah. pop a few in there. You could create a really beautiful tassel, yeah. suspend a couple of these from some sterling silver if you mm -hmm. wanted to. I mean, the world is your oyster, if you wish. That's the beauty of gemstones. I mean, because they are effectively sort of coloured by Mother Nature, well, not always, but, you know, um, <clears throat> Mother Nature, she, she guides us, doesn't she? Um, so I don't think there's a right or wrong. I love purple and green together, mm. and I'm sure if you actually have that colour wheel, don't quote me on this, mm. But are they opposite one another on the actual colour wheel, purple and green, mm, sure. as, as perfectly complementary on the spectrum? I think they are, aren't they? 
opposing colours. So I actually think if you had that colour wheel, you'd find that these are beautifully complementary of one another uh, because they both have that amazing uh, sort of energy and richness of saturation. Yeah, just take one, wire wrap it, put it into sort of a, 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 some form of ring. You're going to make your money back, aren't you, Natalie? You are indeed. Do you sell your jewellery? Um, sometimes, <clears throat> but I mainly, mainly teach and, yeah. But sometimes I'll make something, someone will make, uh, order something. Yeah. So, yeah. You do little commissions here yes. and there. The reality is that, I mean, we, we, we keep our guest designers very, very yes. busy. <laughs> yeah, we have got a lot of time. <laughs> Haven't got a lot of time to actually do it. And we do. We do. I saw you the other day when you were actually busy making still, just, just before your live show. Yes. Just before your live show, <laughs> just out in the production room. But, yeah, we like to keep our guest designers on their toes, basically. Um, <clears throat> but then, you know, it's, it's, it's not a hardship when you work with beautiful gemstones no. like this. It no, really is a blessing, a isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Fourteen ninety-five. Well done to you all. Hello, Norma. Hello, Christine. Hello, John. Hello to you, Essex. Multi buying going on. Hi, Avril. Hello to you, Heather, as well. Um, do get in touch. I'd love to hear from you this. I was going to say Friday night. It's not Friday. It's Sunday. Doesn't feel like a Sunday no, though, does I it? I feel really confused the last few yeah, days. Yeah, me too. You have to wake up. You think what day is it? And we've got a day off tomorrow. Yeah, bank holiday. And that bank always holiday. throws you, doesn't it? I think. Sorry, not everybody's got a day off tomorrow. I've got a day off tomorrow as well. Have you not, Paul? You're here tomorrow. You're here. You're here. Okay. But did you have a day off yesterday? Okay. Did you have a day off the day before? Okay. You've had five days off. Well, what are you complaining about then? <laughs> he says he's lazy. You're not lazy. <laughs> um, Colour change garnet rondelles. <gasps> Uh, I had this earlier on, not this strand, I had it in an individual gemstone. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is taking, wow, have you seen that spin out? Oh. This is taking um, <clears throat> collectability to another level. I mean, the fact today, I have to say, it's a, it's a date which I'll remember in my diary as one of the most exciting here at Jewelry Maker because we've brought you Indicolite. We've brought you Rubelite. Rubelite you've seen once, but it was completely different to the strand that I've actually brought you today. Indicolite we've never brought to you in the eight years. And Colour Change Garnet, I think it's only this year that you're actually I've seeing it. I've never seen it before. Have you not? No, it's, it's this beautiful. really beautiful kind of um, greeny, uh, champagne-like colour. Um, <clears throat> But under a differing light, out in a sort of uh, in, in UV, sorry, in, in natural daylight, this will actually transform. You'll actually see it in a really beautiful kind of reddish glow, um, and it is it, it really is lovely. Yeah, yeah. Pop a uh, sort of a flame very safely. Make sure you are safe. Um, but if you dim the light, you don't need to do this. No light trickery is needed. But um, yeah, if you want to actually test it um, and you haven't got any sunlight, then just pop a naked flame alongside it. But being careful, not obviously to submerge the gemstone or yourself. Of course. Uh, 38.5 carats of natural colour change garnet. This is extreme rarity. It's dazzlingly, dazzlingly beautiful. If you look at some of the rarest gemstones, I'm sure on that list would be colour change garnet. It's a phenomenal gemstone. Um, well, any gemstone that can literally metamorphosize itself into something completely different in its saturation under differing light conditions. And I, I, I was going to say red, but you can sometimes see green. You can sometimes see blue as well. Um, it depends on the actual lighting itself it's stunning even when it hasn't actually changed and transformed it looks absolutely beautiful does anyone else think of like chocolate diamonds and champagne diamonds mm. when they look at this yeah lowest ever price for you today real collectability i wouldn't hesitate about putting this alongside my indicolite to be honest if you got the indicolite earlier on or the rubelite um have i got it here yes 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 here it is this was your deal of the day look at those two together That's pretty special, isn't it? Mm. That is a, a, an amazing... Oh, let's, let, let's go the whole hog, shall we? That is a true collector's dream. Mm. There's your rubelite. Have you, is this the first time you're seeing these? Aren't they amazing? Um, I, might well, I might well have bought one today. Mm. Just because I don't... I, I bought the rubelite today because I don't own rubelite. I don't own indicolite either, but... Um, <coughs> 
You've sold a dick like for a thousand pound a carrot. Yeah, I can believe that. I can believe that. Rubelite, equally very, very, very expensive. Color change garnet, equally very, very expensive. But I mean, this this for me just takes takes jewelry maker into another level, another level of sort of respectability, if you like, in the trade. Um, okay, well done. Moving on, moving on to. I'm keeping the indic light and the rubelite next to me. Let's bring you some amethyst irregular drops. I'm not going to do a carol. She has a song, doesn't she? <laughs> she has. She has got a song. Um, do you know how many people are telling me off for Baby Shark? Good. Baby Shark? Oh, don't say you don't, you've not heard oh, it. No. I won't do it, I Natalie. Can. I am getting... People that really tell... Stop it now. I'll stop it, stop All it, right. stop it. Although, when I was getting ready for work this evening, what was on in the background? And, and then it was the five little monkeys bouncing on the bed, and she was bouncing on the bed, my yeah. little girl, and she did actually bounce off. She didn't bump her head, oh, thankfully, dear. but she did actually bounce <laughs> off her bed. And she went, oh, oh! <laughs> thought it was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious, she thought it was hilarious. Uh, but we haven't got a small bed either, it's quite high, oh, so we're like, you know, we're like, <gasps> anyway, I won't, I won't sing the baby sharks. But is it, is, is, is it worse than Carol's Irregular Drop song? Yes. Yes, okay. But I'm pleased about that. I'm pleased about that. I'm quite glad I've topped Carol on that one for um, annoying songs. <laughs> 3.95 only. Um, I love the texture that these create. Mm. I just, I, you can literally tessellate them, can't you? Yeah, yeah. And the second kit I um, has got moonstone drops, but you can. When you see the necklace I've made, you just say, I could do the same. I've sort of um, rosary linked them individually, mm. which is quite unusual for oh, top nice. drill. But I just wanted something a bit different. That's nice. You, that would look lovely. So you could almost load it up, couldn't yeah. you, with amethyst and moonstone. Yeah. And yeah. at three ninety five, three pounds ninety five. You know, I popped into our local, you know, little shop. You know, local, local. What do they call it? Groceries? Is it a grocery shop? <laughs> it's not really. <laughs> Don't call it. Convenience store, that's it. They popped into one of those, the local convenience store, on the way into work, you know, just just a few essentials, a few essentials for the morning. You know, you know, yeah, no, not even one of the posh convenience stores. No, it's, you know, your fairly, you know, your fairly bog standard one, you know, your run of the mill. Um, you know, you do 20 quid quite easily, don't you, with just a basket. Yeah. Very, very easily, just on things like tea bags, milk, bread, a bit of bacon, those kind of yeah, things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, they're in my car actually Paul if you are I was literally en route to work I got those but my point is you can get um, your point is you can actually get um, genuine gemstones at £3.95 I mean this is going to last a lifetime and have that intrinsic value forever ever ever and ever and ever um, your what's cost more your, your, your yes your, your um, pastries this morning do you go for the pastries or do you go for the old baguettes the baguette nice why not both why not what what, mm -hmm. what do they call it the steak steak slices oh we're talking <laughs> about a particular it's so naughty though that that bakery isn't it it's really naughty naughty do you know how many calories are in a, one of their sausage rolls yeah, you can't like hundreds yeah you it? can't resist it though when you go in there it's just the it's just the smell <laughs> is it is that worse Apparently, a meatball baguette from somewhere else. Ooh. There's about 24 bags worth of salt. How big are these bags of salt? Oh, 24 bags of crisps. The same amount of salt. Really? Gosh. Really? Oh, there we go. Right, well, I'll avoid that because I'm trying to cut out salt, actually. Mm. Yeah, I mean, these are all naughty. If, why is it? I always say this, I, salt is good for you in moderation, yeah it is. My husband doesn't eat anywhere near enough salt, then he always gets cramp, terrible cramp, right, you don't eat enough salt. Um, but yeah, it is good for you, but in moderation of course. Why is it that everything that's really, really yummy and, and delicious begins with C? Crisps? Chips, yeah. Chips? Chocolate? Yeah. Cream? Cream. <laughs> Cake. Cake. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese. See? Why is it? Why do they all begin with C? All the yummy things. <laughs> all the really fat things. It does. It totally does. Right, let's bring it. Ooh. This. Oh. This one. Um, I think I launched this as a deal of the day, I believe. 
Um, I, I don't. I, I brought, I've, I've launched this cut before on a deal of the day, and I know that my tweezers actually aren't large enough to hold it. Um, I try. I try my best. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I mean that is amazing mm. quality. Look at that cutting. Honeycomb and is referring to the cutting across the actual um, crown stroke table facets. Can you see that? Across the actual curve, it's got a curve, which um, along with your concave cut, and that's very, very technical because they, they both incorporate curves and cutting, which gives you this amazing um, light performance really inside some uh, it's literally the top 10 percent of lapidus in the world that would be able to actually facet a gemstone like so you're getting six carrots i mean hang on a minute you're getting six carrots in one amazing solitaire look at that isn't it magnificent mm. i had the privilege and pleasure of actually privilege I, 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 yes <laughs> privilege and pre pleasure <laughs> of actually <laughs> of actually launching um, this cut in, I think it was in your, in your, in your pink amethyst, actually. Um, so I, I knew that we actually had them in other gemstones, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing it in your sky blue topaz. Another little fun fact about blue topaz, did you know that sky blue, with the treatment, because it's irradiated, perfectly safe, they'll take a colourless gem quality topaz and then they'll irradiate it, usually bombarding it, basically, with these different kind of um, elements. Um, that takes actually a year, at least a year, to get that colour. That's why Sky Blue Topaz, London Blue Topaz and your Swiss Blue Topaz are so expensive. It actually takes, this would, be, this would have actually been a year in treatment alone without the faceting itself. I mean, look at that. $59.95, absolutely exquisite. The honeycomb name is coming from the actual, that lovely curved um, table stroke crown facets. Can you see? You've got that beautifully, mathematically precise um, facet across the actual surface. If I hold it like that, can you actually see the curve? That actual curvature? That is one of the reasons why you get this amazing um, mirror of facets inside down into the pavilion itself it's it's incredibly incredibly skillful skillful and surprisingly i thought that this when you look at something like this you'd actually think there's more facets than a than a, than a round brilliant cup wouldn't you does everyone agree with that it looks like there's much more where there's 57 and 58 on a round brilliant cut there's not it's it, it's basically like a wall of mirrors how clever it's amazing. how clever is that to do that with a genuine mm. gemstone so just look across the surface it's not actually that many facets, it's just, you know, they are all mathematically precise. And if I turn it over, can you see, there's not actually that many facets. They're like clean lines towards the actual uh, coolie itself. Very, very, very clever, um, clever faceting. It's absolutely beautiful. I only had a few of these left. Um, I, yeah, we were lucky enough to actually launch this not that long ago um, in different cuts, but very limited now. Oh, gosh, don't stop tempting me, Wayne, because again, I'm now <laughs> thinking I might get one of those. I haven't got a honeycomb cut. Stop tempting me. Um, but it's just nice things to have, to collect. At the end of the day, you know, when I pass on my jewellery and my gemstones to my, to my family, I'm hoping they go, thank goodness, mummy worked for jewellery maker. <laughs> you know, thank goodness. Right then, moving on to Star Buy, and it is, oh yes, your favourite. Mm. It's your Mega Micro. <laughs> three now um you are an amazing wire worker you're an amazing jewelry maker and you're beading as well but also you do seed beading i do i love seed beading um do you use genuine gemstones in seed beading um yes yeah, sometimes i do um it would probably be in something quite simple because the drill with, holes yeah because of the drill holes but yes you could like you could um and also in wire they would look amazing the channel sets yeah can you imagine Beautiful. Yeah, you get all yes, three strands, all of which are two millimetres in their size, um, micro-faceted. I mean, that is such... It just 
it just blows my mind in how difficult it must be to facet a gemstone of this size. I've had a go at faceting gems. It's really, really hard. Really, really hard. Um, you get the beautiful tiger's eye with all of that chatoyancy as well as the luster, um, natural colour there. You're getting beautiful, beautiful amethyst in that wonderful kind of sort of like a soft purple. Again, amazing quality of the gemstones because I can really see the clarity. Team that along with your peridot, which in these, when you take a peridot and you facet it in, in two mil size, it takes on a different colour in my opinion. Mm. It's not quite as sort of neon as in the larger sizes. It takes on yeah. more of like a pastel hue, yeah, which I really paler. love. $24.95 for all three of these. They're brand new. Um, you do get all three of them at an amazing price. Um, and they're round, uh, round stroke rondelles with the faceting, obviously, at two millimetres. Yeah, you, I mean, I'm looking at them thinking they're definite rounds, really. Um, but, yeah, just literally restranding these. You're going to get two bracelets at least out of one, um, one strand. So that's six stacker bracelets mm. out of the $24.95 price yeah. tag. I'd be using this with that sterling silver toggle class that we had earlier on. I mean, how beautiful would that be? Let's, pri uh, let's crash that price even more because it's Sunday. It's Sunday and that's just how we roll. How we roll on a Sunday. Good morning to... Not on morning. Good afternoon. No, good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. I'm, I'm always a bit confused when I do the late shows. Good day. Yes, I should <laughs> just say that, shouldn't I? Good day to you, Denmark. Lovely to have your company. I hope you are well. Um, yes. Um, hello to hello to Cambridge. Hello to London. Hello to Margaret. Hello to Beverly. Hello to Barbara. Message in. I'd love to hear from you. Is no one wanting to talk to me, Wayne? No. Oh. Aww. Oh. Oh. Aww. I'll talk to you. Um, Stacey is saying there's a monkey version of Baby Shark. I have seen that. I have seen it. Monkey banana. Yeah, yeah. I have seen that. It's not as good. It's not as good as Baby Shark, though, is it? It's not Baby Shark. I'll, in the break. You're right. Okay. In the break. I feel like I'm missing out here. I will teach oh, you not. Baby Shark. <laughs> Natalie, you might not like me anymore, though. Okay. But I'm surprised. Well, I'll be singing it then. Yes. Okay. For, the, for the rest of your life. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, it's even in the nightclubs these days. Um, yeah, you know, it's... Hey, listen, it makes everybody smile. Come on, it does. <laughs> you know it does, Paul. Don't even, don't even argue it. You know it's true. You know it's true. Um, Joy, well done. Donna, well done. Um, Lillian, you've got yours. So much that you could do with it. And I'm just going to actually just for a second almost pretend that these are simple stacker bracelets. Mm. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. I, do you know, actually, I would restrand it and I'd put a magnetic clasp, yeah. connect the two, and actually have it as a wraparound. Mm. A wraparound bracelet, just like a bit like the one I bought you. Um, That's a lovely one. You kind of got to say that, but uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is a little bit like it, though, isn't it? That yeah. wraparound. I really like it because you get you get double the look with without the bulk of multiple clasps. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Um, is that easily achieved? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Just literally restranding and putting a, a magnetic clasp yeah. on the end. That's yeah. simple. simple. That simple. Um, yeah. Everybody has checked out their baskets. Well, that speaks volumes to the popularity of micro faceted gemstones. All of the big designers are doing uh, sort of stacker bracelets. Mm. All of our designers are doing them. You know. Furthermore, you know, you see so many of our guest designers actually wearing not just one bracelet but multiple bracelets and it's this kind of shape of gemstone this kind yeah. of size of gemstone um, I don't think you ever need to take it off no and they're so easy to wear I mean I don't I've got a spinel um, one and I've, I always forget to yeah, take it off yeah. when I go to bed exactly. and I'm in the bath but it just survives <laughs> yeah exactly well they're genuine gemstones exactly. they've survived Thousands exactly. and thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. I'm sure they can survive a bath. <laughs> right then, let's bring you. Um, let's bring you. What did you say? Rabbits. Now mm. I'm, I'm dubious. Are these rabbits or are these hares? Let's have a look at the ears. I think they're hares. Because hares have got longer ears. Longer ears, they? and they stand upright. Apparently, I learned. I said, "What's the difference between a rabbit mm. and a hare?" A hare runs on 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 two two feet. Is it? So it runs a little bit more upright. <laughs> that wave its front paws in yeah, the air. Just kind of, it has a full on jog, you know, it has the arms Ooh. and everything going. No, apparently they do run a lot more upright than rabbits. I don't know, I don't know. How do you decide for the difference apart from the length of the ears? Um, what do you think? There are, they are a lot bigger, yeah. They're beautiful though, aren't they? This kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Um, you yeah. know, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Um, 
$5.95 for six pieces of your beautiful silver plated origami rabbit charms. They are lovely, aren't they? Um, I, you know, I can definitely see the rabbit out of Alice in Wonderland here, you mm. know, with carrying the little watch and the little jacket. Definitely see that. Or even Peter Rabbit. It could be Peter Rabbit yeah. if you wanted. That's just come out, hasn't it? Just come out of, uh, of, the, of the cinemas. Mm. Peter Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. He's back, isn't he, Peter Rabbit? You didn't watch it. You didn't watch the movie. It's always on in our house, though. Um, 5 95 You did watch the film. There we go. Wayne's making confessions. Yes, I have watched it. <laughs> um, you, get all, you get all six of them for that amazing price. That's less than a pound each. Just pop one of these on the silver-plated bolt rain class, and you've got a really lovely, charm, lovely charm. Yeah. Um, right then, let's bring you some rondelles. Ruby, emerald, and sapphire. I mean, let's not just get, let's not get blasé here. Ruby, emerald, and sapphire. Genuine gemstones. Genuine gemstones. I'm waiting until you see this price. Honestly. Honestly. Again, I'm just thinking oh, like your tennis yeah. bracelets. Look yeah. how beautiful that is. Yeah. And people will know what it is. Perhaps because you've got that colour combination as well. Look at the quality of that ruby. Yeah. I Natural like it ruby. Is. Exactly like that. I don't think I'd do anything no, different to it. And with the tassel, because the tassels are really in at the moment, I'll just sort of maybe shorten that tassel there. Yeah. And uh, add that on as well. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Make, make, make the most of it. Actually have mm. it kind of coming down the hand if you yeah. wanted to. Um, that's not your price. <laughs> natural sapphire, natural emerald, natural ruby. £11.95. Now, granted, I can bring you gemstones, and more plentiful gemstones like your jaspers, your agates. Um, even some of your onyxes, um, I can bring you, and, and your quartzes at 11 95 I can, because they're more abundant. They are more abundant. Um, but to actually get emerald, sapphire, and ruby, uh, hi to you, Julie Susie L, loving your hairstyle. Don't tell anyone, but I love the baby buck shark too. Yeah, me, I do. I do. It's totally baby shark, shark, shark. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm trying <laughs> my best, Julie Susie, to not sing it today. Tonight, I've already said it today. Uh, not on the live show. I think. I think we need. I think some of our viewers are saying <laughs> enough, Al. Oh but dear. it's really split down the me middle. You know, some of us are like no, yes, more baby shark, and some are like no, just stop it. <laughs> so I, I'll give you a little. I'll give you a night off. I think. Not you, Nathan right, Nathalie. Okay. Though I'm going yeah. to sing it to you, <laughs> especially for Emma as well right. so this lot can actually have a nice little rendition emma will teach you how to do the actions i'll do the singing <laughs> yeah you know you want to Emma. you know you want to um apparently i'm going to be muted as well i'm going to be muted in the in in the gallery no because i reckon paul i reckon paul would really get into it um 11.95 for ruby emerald and sapphire i mean look at that quality beautiful richness of saturation and it's not fisher filled um well done check out those baskets if you've got if, if you've got it in there it needs checking out to confirm um at these kind of prices they're obviously not going to hang around very long are they oh Message going through. Yay! Hi, Deb. No, oh, no, it's been in my head since 8 a.m. <laughs> yesterday at a morning hour. Thanks to yeah, sorry. Oh, I don't know if I want to hear it now because I've got a long drive home. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Deb. <laughs> no, I promise I won't tonight. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I won't. I won't. I won't sing it. Just because you've asked me so nicely. Um, yeah, I've, I've had lots of pictures and memes that, um, yeah, I've been kind of uploaded. Um, some <laughs> pro, some anti. Right, let's bring you... Oh, oh, there it is. Lovely dark colour to these. <gasps> mm. Look at this. First one that I actually picked up. Beautiful dark body colour. Can you see that purple coming through? That flash of purple. Intense labyrinths in these really beautiful, sizable, like a fern green colour, these, which is, of course, the main um, body colour. One there, look. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, 11 95 Oh, look at that neon green then Ooh. as I lifted my hand. Um, 11, sorry, 14 95 for 170 carats of genuine, oh my goodness, there's some really intense labyrinths coming through. Um, for genuine and natural labradorite, 14 95 Madagascar is unearthing some really beautiful quality gemstones at the moment. And here's a testament to that. Um, I would literally just put those in stretchy bracelets. Yeah. You know I'm a fan of the stretchy. Yeah. 
with your kit that's coming up in the next hour amazing with your abalone yes. with the abalone bundle cabochons that we've got coming up in fact mm. let's do that let's imagine let's imagine yeah. that this is actually suspended from the bottom do not go anywhere we're going to be popping these on pre-order for the next hour you get not just one you get two of them and we've got more amazing bundles coming your way as well including Natalie's uh, Natalie's beautiful kit of abalone including some more amazing gemstones don't forget you can pre-order your beautiful ruby as your one to own we'll be back after this you can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. How are we all? 
people. Ah, oh, this Sunday, uh, Bank Holiday Sunday. What have you got planned? What are you up to? Are you busy making lovely pieces of jewellery? Have you got your feet up? Uh, it's, it's dreary and it's cold outside. Um, so I think the best place is definitely on the sofa, fluffy slippers, JM on, grabbing some bargains and learning some amazing, um, getting some inspiration from our lovely Natalie. This, uh, I've got two kits actually, so you can choose between the two or you can really indulge in your abalone. It is called abalone bouquet and you have got bars with your toggles and your peri and your wildfire and your Swarovski in one and then you've got your findings your beading thread pack and your squares in another um, so if you wish indulge in both uh, if you want just choose one of the uh, one of the two so where do I start um, I'm starting with your abalone bouquet with the bars so here they are I mean the days of uh, us actually bringing you abalone bars in these kind of small sizes um, are gone this is actually what do they have like 13 bars Something like that, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite a, a, an array of them in total, which are standalone pennants. And it's really important for me to mention that these are not what we call doublets or triplets. That is a solid, <coughs> if I turn it that way, can you see? There's no layers. That is a complete abalone shell. So that in itself makes, well, it should make it a lot more expensive, but it really isn't today. Um, so you get these. I mean, look at that gorgeous kaleidoscope of colour. The iridescence as the light hits every single, uh, every single millimetre of this beautiful genuine gemstone. Abalone is protected. It's actually farmed in a very similar way to um, your shell. Um, and uh, in a similar way to your pearls itself. Um, but it brings you this absolutely amazing, well, I always call it, refer to it as a chromatic shift. Colour seems to migrate across the surface of each of those genuine gemstones. I'm just going to place that down there. Very Art Deco, very 1920s with that lovely sort of tapered, uh, tapered bar um, cascade. Not just done there though, because you've also got a gorgeous strand you can see just behind of amazing micro faceted peridot. I love peridot with abalone. I just think for me, it's the one gemstone that really 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 does go it really does work it picks out the beautiful greens I'll pick those abalone up so you can all see all of the amazing colors um, it really picks out those lovely greens the intensity of the greens don't you think and you could just literally restrand the two together much like Natalie has done and you're creating a very beautiful very high-end piece of jewelry um, you'll notice the sparkle though um, just adding a little bit of extra brilliance and that is with some sizable stunning Swarovski eight millimeter um, beads. These are, are they the vintage rose? Blush rose, okay. Blush rose in terms of their colour. So you get six of those, eight millimetres in their size. Stunning. You're also getting... A whole reel of your wildfire in the white this is thermally bonded so incredibly strong you get 50 yards um, and uh, you know we talk about sort of the break point the gra the actual um, gram weight that this can actually withstand it, it you know it is regarded as some of the, the strongest wire actually that you can purchase as a, a jewelry maker still not done though because I've also got all of these beautiful toggles um, they are your rose gold plated toggles you get three of them within a pack Three of them in a pack, so here we go. Um, use these with, with all of your different mediums. It doesn't have to be beading. You can actually use them with your kumihimo, your sh shibori. You can use them with wire work. You can use them with your macrame. You can use them with your, um, let me see, paracord. I could go on and on. I, I think that's a really beautiful kit, a beautiful combination. Simple. It's kind of going back to our original roots. Yeah. Going back to sort of our classic findings, threading material, amazing genuine gemstones, and also some added luxury in your Swarovski. And we bring it to you today at just $29.95. I mean, I've brought you abalone showcases before where these bars on their own would have been near on that price tag without your wildfire, which that's usually about eight pounds yeah. with us, isn't it? Yeah, and the Kumihino, I can't say it, Kumihimo ends. Yes. I mean, that, they are brilliant. Yeah. They um, really are. You'd not. expect to pay, I'd say, at least sort of eight, eight, nine yeah. pounds for those because yeah. you get a pack of three of them as well. And the Swarovski and the Peridot. I mean, that's, you know, that's one, two, three, four, five components. Mm. So that's working out just over five pounds per component. Five pounds for brilliant. the abalone, just over five pounds for the wildfire, just over five pounds for your kumihimo clasps, um, and five pounds for your peridot as well. I mean, that is that's some fantastic savings for you um, this evening, jewelry makers. I mean, look at that. I mean, for the for the abalone on its own and the peridot. I mean, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Um, very very mermaidial in your inspiration, mm -hmm. which I think really is the you know the theme of the actual kit itself. Right, let's bring you kit. Part two, 
because um, there's two, you can either choose one, both, why not at these kind of savings, treat yourself, treat yourself, I'll bring that over with me Natalie, because um, this is actually your kit isn't it, that we've, <laughs> we've stolen to show everybody, not literally stolen, we haven't actually stolen, <laughs> she, knows, she knows we've got it, know. um, so here we go, your essentials threading pack, you get one of those in this kit, which includes your monofilament, your clear elastic and your beading thread, again in the rose gold colour, so it would correspond beautifully with the kit, uh, the first part of your kit. You also get some amazing findings, um, and the findings include 50 centimetres of, um, of your chain, of your open link chain, you get your featherweight head pins, you get your head pins, you get your 9 millimetre bolt ring clasps, um, there's five of those, you get three pairs of your shepherd hooks, you get your spacer beads, you get your crimps, you get your crimp covers, you get your jump rings, and you also get double-sided abalone double-sided abalone um, in these lovely diagonal squares corner drilled squares I mean look how pretty they are yeah use these alongside your bars if you wish but they're standalone gemstones on their own as well because they're not small the measurements of these sorry I don't have them here Oops. the measurements are 16 by 16 and it's a full 38 centimeter strand so you could literally frame using some of your micro faceted gemstones whether that be the peridot um, or, or maybe your uh, mega micro bundle earlier on you could literally frame just one of those with some beautiful micro faceted gemstones you could just pop one on a shepherd hooks and they're going to look amazing um, 22.95 for you this evening jewelry makers again you'd pay you'd expect to pay pretty much that for the actual strand on its own don't you think i think that's fair for the strand of abalone yeah. on its own. 22 95 most definitely. I'm going to take a mosey. I'm going to take a mosey over to our lovely Nathalie so I can see all of her gorgeous, beautiful jewellery that she has created and we can be inspired to start creating along with her as well. Um, so, uh, Nathalie, I mean, I love, I love the simplicity of this jewellery and it goes yeah. to show, with a kit like this, you know, let's, let's, Nathalie, um, you, you can only really do your standard beading with it, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I had maybe some, some you know, my U keys, I could have probably gone a bit to town. With, yeah. But you could do that. But um, I love that. It's just simple threading because... I mean, if, that piece of jewellery is beautiful. If you're new to jewellery making, I mean, it can, you can be quite intimidated by something. Yeah. You'd look at that and think, oh, no, I don't know I'm never going to be able to make that. But, I mean, looking at that, if I was in a boutique or somewhere, I'd think that was quite, you know... Expensive. Quite a statement piece. Absolutely. Um, quite high-end because you've got the peridot. And, and All the way around. Yeah. And... Um, you know, it's so achievable. And that is actually, those and bars are just separated, it well. wow. Yeah, it's separated with, with the peridot. Yeah. So it makes it go that little bit further that creates that yeah. really beautiful sort of 1920s fan effect. Yeah. And that is gorgeous. I mean, you've, you'd make your money back if you were to sell your jewellery just on that one necklace yeah. and you'd be in profit, I'd imagine. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm definitely inspired to make that. Mm. Um, looking across then to those to the earrings that you've created, yeah. and they're using the corner drilled, the actual mm. corner drilled abalone. Love that. Just, just using one. On, on the actual shepherd hooks with oh, I love that with a little bit of Swarovski at the top isn't that beautiful oh, I love the colours if you like just give it a little move Look yeah all, we, all the colours you get I mean so they gorgeous. are perfect holday earrings yeah. aren't they perfect I'd holiday wear earrings wear them all year round to yeah. be honest well me too yeah, yeah me too <laughs> um, <laughs> and definitely. then you've got the bracelet and I, was, I wasn't expecting you to say that it was a stretchy it's a stretchy but, but because this is a bit of a stash builder kit yeah. I, I actually run out of um elastic because you know you always used to come with every kit yep. didn't it and then it's I got really excited I was like oh gosh I've you've got, got some, some elastic, elastic back so, in so yeah and if I just grab it if you don't mind so. no carry on but yeah I mean and all I've done it's so it's quite um I'm not sure of the thickness of the elastic, elastic. Mm. but I mean it's just it's really nice it's not too thin not too thick but it goes easily through our elastic the drill is great holes. quality yeah. I use the it all the time lovely. and I just had a couple of my own um, copper beads that I used, um, but it, it goes through all of the. Obviously, it won't go through the micro faceted sea beads. No, so. but yeah, it was just really nice to have some elastic at last. At last, I've run out. And do you know what? So <laughs> many people say that to me, though, yeah. Natalina. I've run out of your, our essential threading yeah. packs. Whereas before, we had it like literally coming out of our it ears. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to see it coming back yeah. into the kits again. Like you said, today is all about stash. You know, stash building, it is. isn't it? And you know, like <clears> with the, um, I, and I didn't get a chance to use the Kumahimo end, but. If I'd have had some glue, what I was going to do, because you get obviously the test winds, I was just going to glue some of that in, like trim that off, yeah. glue that in and you could have that 
in as there. a tassel. As a, a nice tassel idea. On a, either you could either be a bag charm, nice, or um, you could have it as a you know on a necklace or nice something idea. like that. Nice idea. So there's lots of other things you can use them for as well. But Love I mean, that. I just think, but it's nice to just have, um, you know, as. It, Again, session. it's nice to see them back yeah. in kits again because yeah. they are very, very useful. Yeah. And we might even sort of have a revival. Some of the messages we had coming through this morning were, you know, it's kind of like old school JM. We're kind of bringing back some um, yeah, some components that we nice. haven't seen for a while, which, yeah, yeah nice. um, I like that too. So what are you going to demonstrate? And um, like I said, you were saying, Ellen, this is all quite basic beading. Yeah, That's it is. Fine. It's basic beading, but, I mean, it's, it's lovely for, um, you know, for beginners. But also... Um, when I first started working with these little microfaceted beads, um, sorry, I keep moving everything. That's right. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> um, I made the mistake of just taking them all off the strands oh, I did that. and banging them on the mat. And then it was like, I can't really see the drill hole very well. Um, and it took me quite a while to restrand them because obviously I've got to transfer them from one material to the other. I wanted to use the wildfire because it was in the kit. So, um, don't do that. Keep no. it on the strand. Keep them Take on the strand. Advice. Do not do that. Because okay. it, unless you've got like amazing vision, I haven't. And I've left my glasses in the car as well. So, keep your microfaceted um, seed beads on the strand. And I actually got this tip from Mark um, Smith. I remember many, a good few years ago now, I think there was some spinel and he was, he must have had the same experience of, you know, taking them all off and he said if you pick, um, so I can't take the credit for this, if you pick, uh, you know, a, a finger full of your um, beads from the strand there uh -huh. and you've got them in between your thumb and forefinger, you can then, hopefully, I can say that, Keep them in position, and with your needle, I'm using a size 10 beading needle. Which usually are available on our website yeah. as well. So that, with the wildfire, and normally I should be able to thread through this, but I haven't got my glasses with me. You should be able to just pick... No, we can see them jumping on there. Yeah. Now, what normally happens, but typically it won't because it's live TV, is I would just thread through all of those at the same time, and they'd all go on, just like they did a minute ago. And that's not going to happen. It's it, it, it like you said. It is live television. Don't you worry, yeah, Natalie. Let me but start you, again. yeah, if you if you if you literally just grab what like a, about a centimeter, whatever yeah, is, is, is comfortable to hold between. It's not going to work. Um, between you your go. fingers, there we go, and just literally transfer them yeah. if you like. And exactly, you know they're hot. They're set in the right direction to hold the drill hole yeah. rather than looking three hundred and sixty degrees yeah, around. It's not working typically. So you get them on. So you take your time, get them on the strand, and you can see here I've sort of used not half of the strand, probably you know mm -hmm. um, a third there, and then I've um, threaded on one of the crystals. Yeah, I'll just grab one of those. And then with the bars, again, the same thing, what you would do is don't take them all off. You want to keep them in the order that they come in. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to sort of, um, if you take them off the strands and then move them around, you're not going to, you're going to be trying to get that shape again. Yeah. Um, not that it's difficult, but it's just, you know, if you want to make a quick make. So you would literally, literally snip off one end. I actually like the other side of these as well. Yeah, the other side is quite, it, yeah. it, it's not its not polished, you get quite earthy quite tones, matte, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but I really do. I yeah, think they're it's nice. really, really nice, the yeah, other side. Pretty. If you wanted to just get a different look, yeah. um, I think they look really nice as yeah, well. Yeah, I'd agree. Mm. So then, all you would do is then start, so just working from one end, so don't, you know, don't take them all off. Um, just keep them on the strand, just cut one end off, and then you would just start threading them on. So obviously now you will need to pick up an individual um, peridot and I've threaded a peridot in between each one. That, they are small. So if you do have a magnifier, you know the handy handy, handy, handy. or something like that. Do you work with those? Um, I tend to, I've got a light, but um, if you've got one I would recommend using it. Because they if are two mil in size, these, so obviously yeah. that is quite there tiny. We go. Um, and they do fit with your ten mil. Yeah, size, sorry, your size goes ten rather. Size ten. So what I've done then is I've alternated a peridot, um, one of the bars, the whole way round, and then I've added on the um, microfaceted um, peridot on the other side. Okay, don't forget to add in your Swarovski crystals if you want. Now around the back, because. Um, Normally, when you're going to turn this around now, if you pass yeah. that over, I can show everybody. Lovely. Um, when you're um, 
normally on a necklace if you use um, beading thread as opposed to wildfire so you know like your traditional beading thread if we got that in the kit yeah you know the beading thread you got in the kit yeah. now obviously that's slightly too thick to use with this which is why I've used the wildfire now normally what you would do is use a crimp bead to finish off your necklace so you would um, you would go around get your jump ring for example let's just grab a clasp mm -hmm. so what you would do I'll just grab one here. Is you can I just pinch one of those jump rings? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so what you do normally you'd go around, get your get your crimp bead, then put a jump ring ring on and you'd go back through and crimp it. But you can't you don't really want to be crimping wildfire because you can cut into it, like the yeah. crimp when it's sharp. So what I had to do was I can't sew back through the peridot because the, the um, hole in the peridot is too small. So you couldn't go back through that, which is what you would normally do, mm -hmm. and then crimp and then lose the thread. So what I did was um, I used from the findings kit, there's a tiny little copper beads there. So if you look at the back now, I think yeah. I've got three on because you can sew back down through these. So that's the reason I added them as well. But also, I mean, it looks quite pretty. It does look pretty, and it's, you know, it's great fluidity to yeah, this. Yeah, so I threaded three of the, um, the copper beads on. Okay, so imagine that has, like, a, 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 you know, the peridot. I've got the copper beads. I've put my jump ring on, and I'm going to go back through. So I'm just going to go through one. Okay. But remember, we haven't got anything, um, we haven't got a crimp, we haven't to create a stopper. So what I'm now going to do is a couple of um, overhand knots. So I've got, you've looped back round, gone through that bead there. I'm just going to create a little knot. So it's a bit fiddly when you're using wildfire. So I'll just try and grab that there. I'm just creating a little overhand knot. See if it will behave itself. So that's one. This wants to move. So I've created a knot and now I'm going to thread my next copper bead up and I'm going to sew through that. And then you're going to create just another knot. It's just to secure it off because I can't sew down into the um, peridot. Yeah. So I'm just creating like two or three knots in between each one of these copper beads and then you can then trim it off. But what I would do as well is maybe if you've got some clear nail varnish, before you cut your thread, just secure it with some nail varnish. Oh, that's a good idea, because yeah. it's not going to damage the actual yeah. wildfire. So I'll just literally, just doing a, a couple of knots there. Let me just drag that up. There we go. Oh, that's not got lost. Come back. You get the idea anyway. And then, yeah, and that's it really. So you would just create your knots and then cut it off, uh, your excess off, and that's how I finish around the back. So if you don't mind showing it again. I can definitely show the back of that again, not a problem. I like the fact that you've got all the findings across the two kits, you've got all the findings that yeah. Nathalie has used, all the threading material that Nathalie has used, and all the gemstones. So um, within this lovely demonstration, yeah. I mean, gorgeous. That really is gorgeous. And it goes to show some of the most simple techniques. Yeah. can produce some of the most beautiful jewellery. Yeah, so just there, so just at the end of that third bead in, that's where I've trimmed off. So I would, um, cause obviously you'll have, you know, quite, maybe use your bead zapper. Yeah. Uh, not your thread zapper, sorry, or um, uh, some glue or clear nail varnish. But it's, all, it's just knot. disappeared in, hasn't yeah. it? And it's perfectly secure. Yeah. Um, wonderful demonstration and beautiful jewellery. Once again, thank you, thank you thank so you. much, Natalie. Um, every single one of these. Quickly show you the kits, what you're getting. So um, in um, the first part, you're actually getting, and we've actually kind of dipped into that kit, oh, haven't yes, we? we have, um, so you're actually getting, the, don't worry, don't you worry about it. So you're getting the micro faceted uh, peridot that Natalie was demonstrating with. You get the beautiful bars of abalone just here again. We've kind of dipped into it, but it's, yeah. it's Natalie's kit, bless her. So um, here it is. You get, you get, you get your, full, um, your full bars of these. Don't worry, darling. It's okay. So all of these. 
and they are beautiful and they are natural as well. Um, you're getting six of these beautiful blush rose mm. Swarovskis that you can see glimmering in the background there. They're eight mils in their size. You get three of your lovely uh, toggles and also you get 50 yards of your Kumihimo um, thread, which is in bright white. So, I mean, again, you'd, you'd, you'd expect to pay about eight pounds for your Kum for your wildfire. You'd be expected paying, I think, at the very least, sort of 15 pounds for your abalone. Mm. Um, you know, eight millimeters Swarovski, we don't see those that often but surely we're talking about uh, in excess of five six yeah, pounds and that shape as well yeah. it's lovely it's yeah it's treat, gorgeous isn't it? i really like those yeah. stretchy bracelets yeah. beautiful yeah. stretchy bracelets and of course yakumi hemo mm. end so um great savings on this check out your baskets as quickly as you possibly can um, and then we'll bring you part two part two part two <laughs> um so in part two you're getting all of your essential findings <gasps> Oh, I moved Whoops. it too fast. Yeah, be careful they don't run away with you as you move your boards. So, yeah, that was literally all the, all, all the, all the lovely beads that you were using at the end. Um, so, you've got your essential threadings pack, which includes the lovely rose gold beading thread, your elastic... Woo! Yeah, got elastic back nice. um, and your monofilament. You get this lovely strand of corner-drilled abalone double-sided abalone which i can remember so many messages when i was doing a showcase of this gemstone once upon a time people saying i love jm abalone because it is always double-sided which which in my mm. experience it is 99.9 .9 percent of the time so it doesn't matter if they turn like in the ear or, or on the wrist or on the neckline so these are 16 by 16 millimeters um in their size Yes, 16 by 16 millimetres. And you get over, is it over 100 findings in that findings pack? So 150 approximately, including your featherweight head pins, your head pins, your shepherd hooks, your toggles. Um, you get your, uh, your bolt ring clasp, the large size 9 millimetre, your crimps, your crimp bead covers, your jump rings, and also 50 centimetres of that lovely chain. All for just £22.95. Uh, well done to those. And it's a classic old school JM kit. Your gemstones, your threading material, and your findings. You know, where if you get this, a few basic tools, you can make, start making jewellery straight away. Yeah which I think is wonderful. Okay, moving on to, um, and speaking of abalone, we have actually got more abalone additions. I'm just going to pass this over that way. Can I put it that way? Mm. Thank, you. Um, Thank you. Because if you love, there's your bus there as well. Oh, if you do okay. love um, your abalone and you really are fond of those bars, these are a smaller size than what you've had in the kit. So maybe you can make the most elaborate mm. earrings. You get two lots of them. So that's what we're actually thinking. The most perfect for earrings yet slightly smaller um, than the actual kit ones so here we go I'll lay them out there's the one there's the one lot of abalones oh my goodness I've actually flipped it over can you see can you see the amount see the amount of chromatic color that you're getting across the reverse that's the reverse of the abalone shell Beautiful. normally it's quite these are brand mm. new premieres normally they are quite sort of matte in yeah, their color so see, yeah. there we go you don't just get the one you get the two lots they're beautiful, aren't they? I always say 1920s, but I think mm. it's because you almost have that Empire State yeah, building like very effect. Vintage, yeah. Very vintage. Um, if you wanted to turn them into earrings, just popping them on beading thread if you like, looping yeah. them round into your shepherd hook, they look yeah. fabulous. Um, if you want to go them that, make them go that little bit further, space them out with your gemstones. 10.95. You're barred. <laughs> very good. That's what we call poorly, by the way, in Wales. So I'm barred. <laughs> I feel ever so barred. As opposed to your bard. Get out of my pub! Would you like me? I, I can't because I've got an actual company next to me. <laughs> a real life one. I'll <laughs> let you do it. Um, I, I, my, I, I think I'm, I do quite a good London accent. Um, my mum and my dad were both from Essex, so. Are they? You know, yeah, well, yeah, they grew up oh. in Essex, so I was like, all right, girls, how's it going? Yeah, we've got you some absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous abalone. Gorge. I mean, look at all that colour. All right, girls? Yeah, no, I literally, I, I, it's rubbish. That's rubbish tonight. I'm not doing a good one tonight. <laughs> Clearly, I'm worn out. That's working out at £5.50. Five, <laughs> five, five pounds. <laughs> £5.50 only. <laughs> I know that's not how you really talk. It's like when people Please. do a Welsh accent. <laughs> so when people do a Welsh accent, they, it, 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 it's, it's never good. Like, I don't actually sound like that, but yeah. 
Um, they're five pound fifty each. That is very good. That's that's amazing, mm. isn't it? And only because you are watching on your stash Sunday, super stash Sunday. Yeah, stock up your stashes. Well done. Um, and for those of you that are thinking I've never used them before, they're very, very, very easy to work with. In fact, I think we've actually done the work for you, really, haven't we? In the actual Just simple threading. Yep. Yeah, so in, in the actual yeah. cutting, in the actual shaping of the gemstones yeah. themselves, literally you could turn them into amazing earrings if you kind of, kind of twisted yeah. them around like so. Use them on the neckline piece if you wanted something. Um, you know, so, well, multi-buy if you want to make a full suite. Or take them and use them individually. They are top drilled, so you can suspend them. You can elevate them in your tiaras. Mm. They look absolutely amazing in amongst your... Um, um, cinema, uh, but also in your gosh, this, it's gone from me. What's what, what do we call the hats? What do we call the hats? Hat making with lovely Gemma. The fascinators, but what's the actual? Cinema. Is it? Is it yeah. Did I say cinema? Yeah. yeah. There we go. In cinema. Sorry. Thought I thought I didn't have the word then, but I did. Had it all along. <laughs> um, yeah. Just pop these in amongst maybe some peacock feathers. I think would look mm. beautiful. Really yeah. beautiful. Right, I'm going to move on. I've only got a few of those left, so grab them whilst you can. Um, so coming up, we have. Oh, these are amazing. Double-sided. They are flying out the door on our pre-orders, and I'm not surprised. Not one, but two beautiful, beautiful abalone shells. Um, so these double-sided, you could, you were saying about bead bezeling. Mm. They'd be absolutely gorgeous bead bezeled. You know, if I show them like this, you can see there's, there's a really lovely um, sort of edge to sort of grip onto. Perfect for your wire work. You can use them if you wanted on your backing foundation, although then you will be losing the one, mm. the vision of colour on the one side. So uh, it's hard. The difficulty you'll have, folks, is that which one do I go with? But if you have them actually as a pendant, then you know it's going to turn, it's going to rotate, yeah. or even, dare I say, in a pair of earrings, because abalone is lightweight. Yeah. So you can pre-order these. They're coming up at five, in about five minutes' time, so not too long for those. Um, okay, let's bring you some Zavarite nuggets. Are you actually kidding me? Would you be buying Zavarite? Yeah, me too. Definitely, definitely. It's got the. I, I, I'm so passionate about this gemstone. I love the fact that it was one of our own gemologists that discovered it in the national park of, uh, of, of uh, the Savo National Park of Kenya. Um, yeah, George Campbell. He actually discovered. He was a Scottish gemologist, um, and it took it took him many many years. Did you know this was launched the same time that that um, your tanzanite was, but considerably rarer. Um, still only found in that one location. Um, now, unfortunately, you know, it, it, did, it, it did end in tragedy. He, there was um, believed to be a dispute between the mining rules of this gemstone, and sadly, Campbell was actually murdered. But I always say, what a gemstone to have as a testament to your name. Mm -hmm. What an amazing gemstone to have. Um, I mean, look at these together. That is so beautifully Aww. exotic. And that colour is completely and utterly natural. You're talk looking at one of the most expensive gemstones ordinarily. Mm. This is up there. And again, I can see Wayne nodding profusely. Z Zavarite garnet is extremely rare, possibly even rarer than the likes of, you know, definitely a tanzanite. Rarer than, um, gosh, I don't know, Paraba maybe, maybe. Possibly Paraba you can find in different locations. Paparata Sapphire you can find in different locations. Um, yeah, I think it, it's up there with some of the most desirable in the world. And we're at 14.95. Um, the only reason I own Zavarite Garnet is because of Jewelry Maker. So um, this is limited. If you love that colour, it is natural. It is, it's, it's not been treated. You would possibly think because of that intensity, because of that neon vibrant green, that it may be being, I don't know, possibly irradiated. It hasn't. That's how it actually comes from the ground. But very, very, very expensive. Um, just quickly, I I, I've told you this story before, but um, I was—I always watched, you know, those—they um, call it sort of the, 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 the posh pawn shops, you know, the, the actual jewellery and cars and boats and those. It is called posh pawn, isn't it? Um, I can remember this one very well-known, very well-known jewellery designer that actually made for the Hollywood A-listers, and she actually came in to this place that was in Kensington, London, so obviously quite an affluent area, um, and she she went there with some of her collection, which she sold for thousands upon thousands of pounds, and said, I need to pawn these. And the reason why she was pawning them, and she was going to buy them back, and every intention of buying them back, is because 
she needed to buy this very gemstone, Zavarite garnet, so that she could make a commission for Angelina Jolie, Ooh. at which point then she would buy all the jewellery back. So that is how expensive... She actually physically had to pawn her other pieces to buy Zavarite garnet. That's how expensive it is. Um, yeah, that was only on a couple of years ago. Um, stay where you are. Gotta move on. How about... Oh, my goodness. Moldavite now. Really? Wow. This one, in a cut oval. I, I have promised my husband that I'll buy him this gemstone. Yeah, my husband really wants one. He's, uh, it, it is the coolest sto gemstone story, isn't it? It is the only gemstone that has got direct relations with outer space. It's not meteor, like most people think. It's not meteorite. Wow. Wow. What? I am speechless. I'm actually speechless. Where did you get this, Wayne? He, he says he always searches for it. Is it one of your favorite? Zavarite, Moldavite, Neon Appetite. Are they your favorites? Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, do you know what? I'm not disagreeing with any of those. Um, so, this is the very gemstone that there's only two left. I would buy it with you if I had the chance. Sally, you've got yours. I need to get one for my husband, I really do, um, because I've been promising it to him for years and years and years. Um, I, I told him the story about how this is a gemstone as a direct, direct result of a meteor impact that happened millions of years ago, millions of years ago. It actually hit Germany, the Stromfields actually scattered right the way across into the Czech Republic where this is, the, this is the, where it's mined. Um, but do you know this gemstone will actually be deplete? legally deplete anyway because it may well be below the earth's surface but you're not allowed to mine this gemstone below certain depths um, in a very foreseeable future probably possibly even single figures in terms of years so definitely get it whilst you can coming up in half hour's time is it that time already i honestly don't know where time's gone today it's gone so quickly mm. um, we have your one to own a beautiful quality ruby look at that it's totally natural. On a ruby, you want to have it to you want it to glow, and it is glowing. Exquisitely faceted, sizable, natural ruby. And I'm just looking again. Let me just remind myself. Oh my goodness! How about if I said to you that this was affordable? It's not an investment as such. It is an investment, but it's not an investment figure. And what you're looking at on the website is not the correct price. Mm -hmm. That's coming up in about half hour's time. Amazing. Truly amazing. Can I just quickly show everybody this beautiful strand of spinel as well? Look at these. <gasps> wow. Absolutely perfect in their cutting. I mean, look at those. I'm going to go as far as saying that's the best black spinel. How are they drilled? Top? They're actually top drilled, oh, yeah. Wow. The best black spinel oh, I think I've seen. Yeah. Beautiful, curved, almost pe all pe mm. petal-likes almost, yeah. aren't they? They're that coming up a little nice. bit later on in Star by 2. Massively over-allocated on the Moldavite. Um, let's move on. Right, moving on to... A Tanzanite cabochon. Oh, I don't see a Tanzanite cabochon. A 9.5 carat Tanzanite cabochon. I definitely see that if I had it here. Oh, oh, Lucy's on the case. She's on the case. <laughs> don't worry, Luce. Don't worry, I'm just having a little peruse of what else we've got coming up. A nine and a half carat tanzanite. Wow, looking forward to seeing this. A double A tanzanite mm -hmm. strand, did you say? We've got Sphen, you love a bit of Sphen, don't you? Ooh, thank you, Liz. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> Look at this. Wow. Beautiful colour. How much would this be if it was set in gold? Fortunes, wouldn't it? It would be, it would be a lot. It would be very, very, very expensive. Nine and a half carats in a sizable tanzanite. We know that tanzanite, the larger sizes like this, very little is coming out of the ground. Yes, there has been a new, uh, not, I wouldn't say location, a new deposit found at the foot of uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, which means, oh, good news for tanzanite, means we're not going to sort of run out in the foreseeable future. In fact, you know, there's the concerns of mining this gemstone of, of you know, the weight has been lifted quite dramatically. Um, but that being said, the government has got the monopoly, and quite rightly so, you know, they are, they, 
they are policing very heavily the actual uh, tanzanite that comes out of that location um, and you know who knows what price it's going to be in the foreseeable but the larger sizes like this um, are, are almost unheard of at the moment actually in the market right let's bring you the rondelles should we do the rondelles where are they i'm sure i've just seen them is that the mo oh yes I'm usually thinking about bed. No, maybe not. It's a bit <laughs> early for me now. Still a little bit early. Beautiful. Beautiful, rich, intense tanzanite with that wonderful saturation that of course could very easily be created um wow 1995 35 carats you're getting i wouldn't hesitate about using this alongside the actual nine and a half carat tanzanite oh, cabbage Can you imagine those two yeah. together wow oh, that's beautiful that really is not 1995 14.95 today so hang on you can get both of these for what 35 pounds was that right? No. How much was the cab how much was the cabochon? Yeah, 30 35 pounds. You can get both of these and that would work out at what was the, what was the carat weight on the cabochon? Nine. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. So you were talking about what 45 carats. 45 carats of tanzanite. That's crazy, isn't it? For 35 pounds. My goodness. Um yeah, it is it, it's a Sunday night special price really for you look at that intensity we don't grade our tanzanite here at jewelry maker and the reason for that is because we would have to grade every single rondelle which would be very very expensive and that cost obviously has to be covered in some way shape or form so we don't do it it would increase the price of our tanzanite so i always say to our wonderful viewers lean on your own knowledge i think you know what to look for in terms of the saturation what kind of intensity you're looking for lean on your own knowledge it has to be that really well it doesn't have to be it's only the eye of the beholder but the more intense that purpley blue that violety blue color the more desirable the tanzanite is again check out those baskets use this alongside i'm looking across your indicolite that you had earlier on your rubellite that you had earlier on how about alongside some amazing mm. sveen that we've got coming up i mean how mm. incredible is that that's natural completely and utterly natural um paul just went sveen yeah we're selling sveen these days D didn't you know that paul sveen and indicolite and rubellite and tanzanite of this caliber right moving on to are we ready for our star buy are we ready because um these are already being allocated how many do we have there are 100 available in the entire world no more no less already um, a third of the stock has gone up next though double trouble <laughs> already being allocated and why wouldn't you be um look at this you have got double-sided abalone and you get them times two 40 by 30 millimeters is this easy to use natalie i mean yeah. uh, because they're not drilled you wouldn't want to drill abalone because no. it is quite brittle no. um but well i'm not saying you couldn't but you know ideally yeah. how would we actually incorporate these into jewelry well you could bezel set them with seed beads mm -hmm. wire yep um you could um use fabric around them yes nice yeah um i mean i know they're double-sided so you want to avoid having to glue anything down i think wire um, um, but wire would be amazing yeah absolutely i, t I totally agree or your mm. or your actual bead bezel would yeah. be absolutely beautiful abalone is an organic gemstone it comes from a living organism and you know what if you were to see this 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 this, this the actual creature itself it, it, it looks basically like a mollusk, basically. Um, and on the inside, um, you see these beautiful, uh, beautiful displays of colour where you can get flashes of pinks. So we look at that neon pink there just as the light catches. You get gorgeous yellows, you get uh, greens, blues, turquoises, purples, just as the light hits it. Um, both sides, absolutely stunning. 8 95 for the two. I mean, why wouldn't we? At the end of the day, that is crazy. Just, It's a nice thing just to have, mm. even if you don't necessarily turn it into jewellery. What a lovely idea to actually just have you know um, in your collection itself I mean they are stunningly beautiful and abalone if anybody's been on a cruise you haven't seen the prices of abalone jewelry on cruise ships Oof, <laughs> it's expensive 
very, very expensive. Most things are, to be honest, on cruise ships, but it certainly wouldn't be four pound fifty no. per abalone. And then I don't even know if it would be double uh, double sided. So yeah, stock up whilst you get this. I've only got a hundred of them available, and all around the world are getting involved. Hello to you all. Hello Florida. Hello Paula. Hello Lincolnshire. Hello Victoria. Hello Shirley. Hello Sharon. Hello uh, Kent. Hello Gail. Um, hello Angela. Ella. Andrew. Sharon. Like, lovely to have your company this evening. Do make sure you check out your baskets if you want to guarantee success there's lots of ways that you can actually incorporate these into jewelry they're lovely and lightweight abalone isn't a heavy gemstone so if you wanted to be very very elaborate and really go for a statement pair of earrings they'd be fantastic as earrings mm. I like I like the idea yeah, of them it's all set see oh see lovely you need you need to do that yeah I and with your dark hair, it would them. look really I lovely. Buy them. <laughs> I think you do. I think you do. Mm. Uh, Four pound fifty each. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad, is it? They'd be amazing in the mm. air, you know. And they're just going to be constant, even from Moving. that distance, so you can see. A lovely beautiful flash of color coming around um, it'll go with all of your precious metals you can use this with your wildfire that we had earlier on um, all of the uh, your, your mega micros that we have yeah. in that bundle yeah um, Swarovski's would you use Swarovski with it you could do yeah I mean if you're bezel setting once you've sort of um, framed it frame the seed beads around it you could then incorporate some um, Swarovski crystals in somewhere yeah that would be nice, isn't it? Yeah, just to give that just playing around. additional flash, wouldn't yeah. it? Um, I only had 100, and it is busy this evening. Hello, Jane. Shropshire, you've got yours. Stephanie, you've got yours. Sit back and enjoy. Um, I think I might as well. I've got an order open already today, so I might as well mm. sort of drop these in my basket as well. Just a cheap, cheeky little addition. It's not breaking the bank, is it? It's not breaking the bank, and I've got a beautiful, genuine gemstone, which is very much protected. I watched a documentary once upon a time about abalone, diving for abalone, and it's actually illegal to free dive for this gemstone in many locations. But apparently in southern Australia, I don't know if there's a location just there where it's, it's not illegal to do so, um, or maybe they had a permit, I don't know. But this group of divers were, were, were free diving for abalone, um, which is incredibly dangerous, incredibly, incredibly dangerous. So why they want to do that I don't know but um, they actually have to take someone that goes along with all these sort of a protective equipment because of the, the very real risk of sharks oh wow and it's this gemstone yeah it's this gemstone they're actually on the hunt for um, it's beautiful and that's why but it is usually actually farmed in the same way that we would farm um, your cultured pearls uh, check out your baskets it's an absolutely exquisite organic gemstone one that really does tell the tale of where it's from it's just a vision of color features also in the Disney film Moana. Mm. Yeah, it's in Moana. It's what she actually wears around her neckline to carry, oh. to carry, what's it, the heart of Nefiti. <laughs> Is it Tahiti or Nefiti? Nefertiti. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Nef like Nefiti. <laughs> I don't know. But it's the abalone shell that actually carries that heart anyway. Um, for those of you that are Disney enthusiasts, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. I'm sure it was Nef Nefertiti. I'm sure it yeah, was. Yeah, I think so. It's not. Oh. What's it called then, Lucy? It's probably nothing like that at all now. What's it called, Lucy? You're Googling. I can hear you Googling <laughs> it. Tafiti. Tafiti. I was close. Close, close, close. Oh. But yeah, this uh, lovely gemstone features in that film itself. Um, it is one of the best Disney films. Love Moana. Good. Love it, love it. Right, moving on to the Sveen. Um, okay, so the, again, this is a 2018 gemstone that we launched. So how exciting. We've had, uh, did you see the Opalina the other day? I did. Oh my goodness. Oh, um, yeah, incredible. Yeah. Really, really away, beautiful. Yeah. Opalina, we've had um, Indicolite today. We've had Rubellite in 2018 as well. And Sveen, another amazing addition. I know that both um, Wayne and Zena are very, very, very passionate about this gemstone. More fire than a diamond. Mm. Yeah, more dispersion than a diamond. Um, so, yeah, if you love to see those beautiful flashes, um, then this is the, this is the coloured gemstone to go for. Isn't it amazing when you see that beautiful intensity? Let me place it against the skin as well. There's only three of them left. That's Mother Nature. This hasn't been treated, which was such a neon colour is amazing. Um, one of the most pleochroic gemstones as well on the planet. So not only do you see this gorgeous, vibrant main body colour, but under differing angles, you'll also see maybe flashes, uh, flashes of secondary hues also. Um, 69. 
99.95 only. Um, it's a 10 centimetre strand, but the reason for that is because if it was 18 or 38, oh my goodness, it would be a, a fair size, a fair amount of your bank balance. Um, so with such limited gemstones, such high-end, such collectible gemstones as this, we bring it to you on a shorter length so it becomes all of a sudden a little bit more affordable. There are only three left though within the vault. Have you bought yours then, Wayne? Not yet. Because look at this. For your lovely wife, I, I bet a, a, a woman can never have enough gemstones, another, another, <laughs> never have enough jewellery or chocolate, for that matter. If you go by that mantra, I think you'll do, you'll, you'll, you'll do well. Um, but look at that. Beautiful as a bracelet. Pop it on a, maybe a sliding, a sliding bracelet like mm, this. Yes, that would be lovely. <gasps> What do we think? Mm. As a combination, pretty, really pretty. Or simply using your wildfire, um, using any of your, oh, your silverite. We had it earlier on, the, the sterling silver silverite thread. Um, I only had three of them left though, so well done to those who managed to get hold of that. Right, let's bring you Briolette. Briolette baby? Where's Briolette baby? I don't know, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Briolette baby? Swarovskis, okay, I haven't got any Swarovskis. <gasps> we'll get you Briolettes, we'll get you Briolettes, don't worry, don't worry, we can get, we can grab it for you, Briolette baby. Who named this bundle? I like it. It's on its way. <laughs> <laughs> it is here, we know, we, we know what we're talking about, it's just haven't got it. Should I do something in the meantime? A little dance. You'll want to own your amazing, op uh, your amazing, sorry, Ruby is coming up in a few moments. That's in about uh, just over 10 minutes time. Um, just quickly, I can bring you this really lovely uh, slider bracelet with cubic zirconias set within, not only on the actual star itself, but also um, in the tassels itself. So if I actually lean that towards you, thank you. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Looking at the briolette baby, that's really nice. Um, here we go. So you saw me earlier on just sort of show this against uh, alongside alongside your um, your sphen look really beautiful just as a length a ten centimeter length there perfect very very high end bracelet twelve ninety five. With the star motif as well, if I just pick this up, you can see there's the cubic zirconia in the centre. That's gorgeous. Lovely buttery mm. yellow. Slider bracelet means you haven't got to worry about, you haven't got to worry about sort of size, you, you know, because we've all got different wrist sizes or neck, neck size, lengths. What? Neck. Neck. <laughs> neck. Neck circumference. Yeah. Circumferences. I don't know. <laughs> what do we call it? What do we call it? Collar sizes, um, yeah. Yes. We are, because we're all different builds. Why don't I just put it that way? That's a lot easier, yeah. isn't it? Um, so, for example, a 16-inch necklace on me, I will wear, but I prefer them to be a little bit longer. I do prefer maybe like an 18 or a 20-inch, personally. You can use these necklaces if you wanted to. The same applies with your bracelets. With them being a slider bracelet, means that you haven't got to worry about that if you're gifting or you're commissioning your jewellery because it is fully adjustable. Um, 12 95 has got to be one of the lowest prices we've ever taken it to. Um, okay, let's do Briolette, baby. Is it a star buy? Are we going straight into it? Let's go straight into it. Let's go straight into it. Just because you know, time is of the essence. Briolette, baby. Does anyone else think about vanilla ice when they say yes. that? Yes. Yeah, I feel like I need to break into a song. <laughs> <laughs> I have no shame, by the way. <laughs> Literally no shame. The things I do on live television, one, honestly, <laughs> one day, one day, my daughter will watch and go, oh, mummy, mummy, a bit embarrassing, mummy. Um, Never. Oh, she would. Yeah. I bet she would. I'm sure she's quite embarrassed now, and she's only two. Look at this. Oh, look. Oh, my I goodness. I might have to buy some of these. Briolette, baby. Just a stunning pendant. Isn't it? Mm. And they are drilled where I'm holding. Can you see? There's a slight, uh, there's an aperture there for you to pop. And your pinch bales. Yeah. A jump ring. Really pretty. You get the three different colours. I have to say, that's almost like an indicolite teal blue mm. there. $15.95, wow. So um, in terms of the sizes um, and the colours, you've got your, your Swarovski Crystal Graphite. You also get your Silver Knight, which is the sort of uh, metallic-y looking ones. And you also get... Um, 
Hang on a minute. Have I said that right? Graphite Silver Knight and your Silver Shade. The Silver Shade is the one I'm holding, um, which is 17 by 8.5. Um, the other two are, sorry, I just missed that, missed that measurement. So it was 13 by 6.5. Wow. I mean, they're beautiful. Just popping one on a mm. pair of Shepherd Oaks look absolutely stunning. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Swarovski, and I'm so glad that it's actually within, you know, our... Um, our portfolio, shall we say, of gemstones and, uh, and crystals that we actually offer because they are renowned in the jewellery industry as some of the finest in the world and certainly as a brand. Yeah. It's historical as well. I mean, some of the most famous pieces of jewellery um, and pieces, if you like, um, in history are actually uh, have actually been adorned in your Swarovski. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Marilyn Monroe, um, of course, the um, the ruby slippers were, parent, uh, were, of course, your Swarovski itself. At the Oscars, I don't think there's pff, ever an Oscar award ceremony where, where somebody isn't smothered in Swarovski. And why wouldn't they be? Four, sorry, fifteen ninety five. <laughs> that is working out at just over, um, just over five pounds each. Amazing, right? Um, we've got a star buy. It's that gorgeous black spinel, and it is coming your way. Brand new premier strand, never ever been seen before. It's shorter, but the quality of this is the it just absolutely exceptional, and you'll be able to de detect it instantaneously. It's up next. <laughs> a lot me too you can really see mm. the quality of these can't yeah. you can i just i'll just 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 focus on one for the time being i'm going to show you all the way around to take a gemstone and cut it with this amount of precision is is, is quite spectacular really i mean that is not easy to create a curve to create a bend effectively in a genuine gemstone and then also be able to be quite so sort of mathematically precise even down to the drill hole actually creating putting the drill hole positioning it so it actually suspends and falls perfectly mm. that's such a, a challenge so you get four of these absolutely amazing twisted marquise faceted uh, um, pendants, what would you, whatever you wish really. Mm. I'm thinking pendants or very, very high-end earrings. Yeah. And I spoke only this morning about the fact that Van Cleef and Arpels, if you ever look, if you want to have a little chuckle to yourself and you think, oh, I wonder how much a Van Cleef and Arpels piece of jewellery is. Yeah, just Google it. Very expensive, let's just put it that way. But they're actually working with Black Spinel at the moment. Um, Black Spinel and very high-end diamonds. And they've actually just, I saw on their, on their Instagram page, um, a really beautiful kind of tassel-like design. But it's using Black Spinel, exquisitely faceted Black Spinel, much like these. Um, but this is a really unique cut. I wouldn't know, we've described them as twisted marquise, but to me, there's so much more than that. It's a marquise with, it's, it, it's just... Every single angle is so complex. You know, the fact that you've actually got the girdle facet itself as well. I don't even know how that's achieved. Um, obviously, this is, this is a more considered strand, obviously. Um, and it just goes to show that, you know, we can bring you spinel of affordability, but we can also bring it to you of extreme quality. Um, and that's exactly what you've got on your screens. All for just $29.95. I mean, just taking one of those, popping it with some maybe beautiful pearls, maybe some of your near round pearls, I think would look absolutely amazing. Um, popping it alongside your indicolite that we had mm. earlier on, the rubelite. Wow. Can you imagine some, yeah. some, some, like a cluster of rubelite at the top? Just amazing. I really love them. Me too. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm tempting you this evening, mm. aren't I? Tempting you with lots of beautiful, be what? Wowzers. You just dropped that price. That's not what my sheet says here. <laughs> it doesn't say that here. Okay. That's just when I'm, I'm yeah. doing it. I'm, it's Sunday night. Are you off on holiday tomorrow or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> you like holiday? You have just got back. You have just got. That's why I was just. I was, I was just. Are you going away again next month? Honestly, likes. Only for only a week. Oh, uh, I only went for a week back in June. <laughs> I'm definitely due another holiday. Okay, he says technically it's not a holiday, it's on a boat with 12 other blokes. 
So um, mm. it's a boozy session. It's a boozy week. Is that sensible? Um, Twelve blokes on a barge. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe not on a barge. It is. Twelve oh, blokes oh, on a barge. Worse, apparently, <laughs> sounds like a lot of fun. Um, mm. Have you got a day of recovery when you get back? No. Okay. Oh, Straight gosh. into the uh, late social. Okay. So make sure you tune in that day mm. because Wayne's going to be uh, well. Let's just say a bit jaded. Just a little bit jaded, I'd imagine. Um, beautiful. What would you do with these then, Natalie? Um, I would definitely make a pair of earrings. Mm. I would definitely have a pendant. And I'd use the other one as a charm, I think. Yeah. On, on maybe have a, like a pearl bracelet, maybe with some microfaceted um, spinel in between each pearl, and then have, have that as a charm. Yeah, love that idea. Yeah, just quite simple. It doesn't need, you don't need to do anything fussy with it. I don't think all. so. And I think the drill hole itself is, is half of the beauty, how they actually drape, because they yeah. do, don't they? They yeah. fall exquisitely well. Ex I mean, look at that. I mean, did anyone else see that luster then? That mirror-like reflection across a, a, what, what is essentially a jet black opaque gemstone. Cutting is crucial absolutely mm. crucial um well done check out lovely to have your company this evening and again do get interactive we would love to hear from you um you can text us live here in the studio if you've got any questions for natalie or you just want to say hi um yeah we're a friendly bunch we really are Six zero triple seven. start your text with jm studios um we will be back up after a minuscule break more inspiration more demonstrations more kits more star buys after this <laughs> Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Hello everyone, it's guest designer Mark Smith here with a little date for the diary. Well, it's not actually a little date actually. Monday the 27th of August, as many of you know, is bank holiday and we've decided to turn the channel over to me so it's going to be Mark Smith Monday. So I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the items that we have in all three shows over the day. Now the morning show is rather special because we've got a brand new to jewellery maker, Seed Bead Launch, and the name of these little seed beads are called Coco Beads. I'm not going to give you too many details about it, but we've got four kits over the morning show, brand new seed beads, Coco Beads. Then in the mid show, I've got two amazing kits, one consisting of Amazonite, and the second, the most amazing shell cabochons I think I've ever seen. Late show, myself and presenter Zena will be going a bit old school. We've got the most amazing kit that will enable you to make a full length Swarovski knitted seed bead necklace. It's, it's just stunning. I'm actually making it at the moment and it is just, it's just beautiful. And the most amazing amethyst kit. So that's what we've got during the day. Now you may be wondering what I've got in this rather fetching little box here. Well, this is the deal of the day. So Monday the 27th, Bank Holiday Monday, this is deal of the day. Now this is probably the finest, most extraordinary strand of aquamarine that we have ever featured in the eight years of Jewelry Maker. This is going to go down in history as one of the most amazing strands. So this is the deal of the day. Here we go. This is Santa Maria Aquamarine. Now this is rather special. It's the most considered strand we've ever featured on the show. We've only had 31, so it's probably one of the most limited quantities we've ever had. And what's rather special about this strand is we've had it specially drilled for us. So we don't have to now look around for finer threads or featherweight head pins because we have had the Santa Maria Aquamarine strand drilled, as I've just mentioned, especially for us, to 0.6 millimeter drill holes. So we'll be able to use all of our wires, all of our findings, all of our threads. So this is the deal of the day on Monday bank holiday. So if you join me and Carol from eight in the morning, this will be shown at 11. We've got cocoa beads, we've got amazing kits throughout the day. Hope you can join us for Mark Smith Monday.
At Jewelrymaker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Hello. Okay. Are you ready? All of a sudden, the ruby's gone. <gasps> um, are you ready? Thank you, Luz. Are you ready for your one to own? Already being pre ordered. Sorry, your must have. This is a stunning example of this gemstone. Um, regarded by many as the king of gems, it is. A gemstone that is responsible sometimes for the for, for the highest um, price per carat in many cases, and it's all down to the actual colour. Colour is the number one uh, number one valuing factor um, of this. Um, well, member of uh, it's, it's basically from um, the corundum family. It's one of their uh, minerals, and it's a presence of chromium that actually turns it into this beautiful, beautiful blood red. Um, if you're looking at this um, a, a ruby, you're looking for either sort of pinkish light -like colours or a definite, we could refer to the phrase as pigeon blood. I know it's not a nice expression, but that is actually what we use in the industry. That is what commands the highest price. Does anyone else actually see, and I will take it out of the box in a few moments' time, that very definite uh, blood red colour. Exquisitely faceted, um, brilliant cut oval, 8 by 6 millimetres, so you've got a really amazing um, calibration there, which could very easily be um, incorporated into sort of a, a prong set ring. If you're not a wire worker and you've tuned in, or, or, or not a jewellery maker really and you've tuned in for the very first time you could take this to a jeweller's I mean my first ruby I was actually gifted I said I'm not gifted gemstones but I was gifted by a very good friend who used to work on the oil rigs actually um, and, um, <laughs> and, he, and, and yeah and he, he brought me a ruby back from Thailand and um, I actually designed a piece of jewellery and had it set um, I had it set into into it went into some gold. It took me it took me a long time to save for it, but that's how I actually acquired my first ruby ring. Look at that lovely colour. And by the way, it was nowhere near the size. Um, you've got 1.4 carats. It's the birthstone for July and often gifted for your 40th wedding anniversary. Um, comes from the word ruby. Actually, comes from the Latin word ruba, which is the basically translates to red so for fine um, understandable reasons why mm -hmm. it actually gets that gorgeous color um, and is without doubt probably one of the most desirable aspirational gemstones I think on this entire planet we recognize it it is of course um, a very very considered member of the big five and I think it always will be steeped and esteemed in history um, aspirational desirable expensive absolutely something that we consider as an heirloom without doubt this this is a brand new opportunity, a um, must have, really is a must have, especially when you consider what this is going to. Um, I just, if I can just cast my mind back to when I first started in jewellery, I actually started in a very, very high end jewellers. Um, so much so, it used to actually intimidate me and I was only young, um, but I used to find it quite an intimidating, intimidating place to actually work. I used to go in, the boss I used to be quite petrified of, not that he wasn't a nice chap, he was. Um, um, the, the, the clientele I used to find quite scary because they were very affluent people, shall we say. But this is a kind of gemstone that I used to see surrounded by VSI diamonds, you know, decolour, set into platinum or your 18 karat gold at the very least, and usually with at least a four-figured price tag. It was this rich, intense, beautiful, blood-red colour that we would actually see. Um, nowhere near at the price that you're about to see in your must-have. Start dialing because I have how many of these available? A hundred and fifty-five. Now, lots of people, much like your deal of the day, will tune in, especially for your must-have. 
especially for um, to make sure that they don't miss out on a deal that literally they must have hence the name <laughs> hence the name of the actual star buy that I've got to have it that kind of price tag I couldn't afford not to miss out on this can you imagine two of these in a pair of in a pair of stud oh, earrings wouldn't they? Mm, really, gold. really beautiful. Set in gold. Set in gold. <gasps> would you ever imagine, though, Natalie, that it would cost you less than fifty pounds? No. No. <laughs> exactly. Um, One point oh. four carats natural <clears throat> Indian ruby. Indian ruby has got this really beautiful internal glow. I often liken it to your Madagascan ruby um, because it glows from the inside out and you've got some of the most definite rich saturations. This hasn't been fissure filled, which often, actually 95% of the world's ruby will have undergone some form of treatment. That's basically uh, cracks and crevices within the actual um, ruby itself, uh, which is, by the way, completely natural. It's expected. That's, that's actually expected of your ruby um, they actually stabilize it by fissure filling with like a glass resin um, um, but also that can aid the color this needed none of that I mean if you if you if when you get this home under closer inspection have a little look at it in under daylight which is how we should be assessing our colored gemstones um, if when you look at it you will find this I can't see any fissure fissure lines within this gemstone itself absolutely beautiful beautiful quality we're not stopping there though we really do want you to have this beautiful ruby this sunday evening we really do 1.4 carats i've got a large quantity and the very 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 lowest price that we can take this to is 20 pounds and 90 pence i mean just imagine that one suspended from a nice yellow gold chain like what we had earlier on look at how beautiful that is you could do some fabulous wire work you could do your prong setting um you could take it along to a jewelers and actually have them set it yeah. into a prong set that would look beautiful um you know, don't be frightened of, of working with your very or acquiring your high-end gemstones from us here at jewelry maker um and actually you know put it drawing your design and take it to a gem setter i do that and have mm. done quite a few times because we do compete, I do think, with some of uh, quite a few of the online loose gemstone traders quite considerably. If this was on one of those established, uh, one of those websites, you would be talking about, I think, probably pushing £100 um, for this one opportunity. £20.95 with us today. Um, well done. A massive congratulations. I can, I, I, I can sense a few pairs of earrings coming along mm. um, because Gloucester's <laughs> has just bought two. Jane's just bought two. Bell and Kev have just bought two. Um, Gloucestershire, well done. Uh, uh, Beverly, you've got yours. Lynn, you've got yours. Denise, congratulations. Uh, Sunita, you're very close to getting yours. Angela as well. I've got London there. Congratulations. Hello to you, Barbara. Hello to you, Deborah. Um, hello to you, uh, Madeley. Um, £20 and £95. £20! For a genuine ruby, a natural ruby, a natural ruby, seriously, for 1.4 carats. Again, I've got to do this. I always do it with really high quality solitaires. I mean, imagine that. How much would that be in those establishments? Does it look out of place against the diamonds? Mm, like Absolutely not. And the gold, look. It well. looks beautiful, doesn't it? Imagine that prong set. <gasps> Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, we're actually just saying. Wayne is just saying if that was if that was white sapphire or they were zircon, he thinks this would be actually in a finished piece of jewelry at least ninety nine pounds. Yeah, I think so too. Um, with diamonds, who knows? Who knows? But um, yeah, who knows? But definitely. Definitely, definitely a, a, a considered price tag and the quality of the ruby would go hand in hand with high end quality diamonds. £20 and 95 pence only for 1.4 carats. Don't forget to get your certificate of authenticity as well to say that it is the real deal and more importantly the fact that this isn't enhanced. As I said, 95% of the world's ruby will have undergone some form of treatment. Not the case here. So you are actually purchasing from that 5% which is extreme rarity. India in terms of the location actually I think is only I think some of the finest along with actually your Madagascan ruby too I think those two locations are really um 
and Mozambique actually. Um, those three locations are, are producing some really, really amazing quality, amazing specimens, which is a good job because Thai ruby is on the verge, if not already deplete. Um, Burmese ruby is getting very, very limited, limited as well. So we're looking for that extra fine quality. Um, I've got to move on. We only have, we're down to so literally um, the final third within the vault. So if you want to guarantee yours, then check out your baskets. Amazing. Um, okay, moving on to 180 carats of labradorite. Multi shapes. Ooh. <gasps> oh, it's unusual. Look at the size of that one. Oh, got a kite. I've got a marquise, a pear, an oval, a square. There's only four left. Oh, that's lovely. Like driving oh, rain, one, isn't yeah. it? It's almost yeah. like there's a rainbow behind a forest. Mm. <laughs> Not the best description. <laughs> no? Okay. I'll see you if know I can... what you mean. Okay, that's okay. That's like a, a it's like an enchanted forest. And then you have got a wizard mm. casting his spells in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, laugh a bit harder, why don't you? The first part was great. Yeah? 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 You don't like the wizard bit? Wizard okay, thing. okay, okay. It's like looking at the, the aurora borealis through a yeah. forest. Is that better? Oh, yes. Is that better? Yeah. Honestly. Honestly, I literally give up. I'm trying to be all poetic <laughs> and they laugh out loud in my face. In my face, it's fine. It's okay. It's all right. I don't think take things personally. Oh, it's a good job, really, because I wouldn't work here otherwise. 1995. Look at the amount of labradorescence, which is all completely natural, by the way. That's not coated on the gemstone. Um, yeah, myth and legend uh, told us that once upon a time it was the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights actually trapped within a gemstone. Um, as we know now through uh, obviously gemology, we know that it is tiny, a uh, tiny platelets, mi uh, mica platelets um, that are kind of layered within the gemstone. This is a type of feldspar that actually traps uh, traps the light and produces this amazing phenomena effect. It is beautiful. I can't put that one down. I literally can't put it down. It's amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? And all natural. Mm. 1995. Is it just me? I'd pay that for that one. Yeah. yeah. For that size? Have you ever seen Labradorite in finished jewellery? It's expensive. It is very, very expensive. Monica Venade is using it quite a lot. In fact, lots of designers are using it because it is that real kind of moth to a flame um, kind of gemstone. We're, we're fascinated by it. We're spellbound by it, aren't we? We're just literally drawn. Um, well done. There's only a limited quantity, though. If you want to guarantee success, you know what you've got to do. Does anyone else actually see? Hang on, let me just catch it in the right place. Can anyone else actually see, like, birds sat on a branch? <laughs> no? Yeah, it's a bird on a branch. No? <laughs> it's only tea. There is only tea in my cup, I promise you. <laughs> I can totally see things in there. Get lost in it, can't you? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right then, moving on to a nine carat gold. Belt to chain. Is it that massive one here? <gasps> it is as well, isn't it? There's only two of them. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. Uh, <gasps> I'd never take that off. Liquid gold, Emma says. Oh, it is. You've missed a bit. You've got, you've got, you've got beautiful Emma. It's like, it's, it's like buttery yellow. You've got to say buttery yellow. <laughs> it's nine carats of beautiful buttery yellow gold. Again, I hope for, 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 for this gram weight, you'd be expecting. Um, uh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Aidy and I could see the bird in the Labrador. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Everyone's like. What did you have in your last <laughs> cup of tea? <laughs> Sweetener? Salt, I promise. Honestly, it was just a sweetener. See, I'm glad it, was it wasn't just me. There we go. 79.95, there's only two of these. They're too beautiful to be in our vault. Um, ha have I, had I not have already indulged quite considerably this week, I would definitely be buying this. Definitely. It could be, it could be my little birthday present from me to me. 
79.95. Look at that. I love the fact that you've got that really open link. Mm. That's pretty. You're a yellow gold wearer, then, yeah, Natalie. Yeah, Is this I the kind both. of thing that you would like to like to be given yeah. or or, yeah, or buy? I'd love to be given that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yes, definitely. And also, you know, if you do want to add some, um, you know, charms in onto it, or um, you know, put your bead on a head pin. It's so this quite sizable, aren't they? The links be easy to add in something in it's beautiful mm. that that would literally be i think probably a couple of hundred pounds at the very yeah. least in a, in a jeweler shop at the very least um 200 300 pounds probably i'm down to the last one of those Ooh, i might have to drop a few hints a bit later <laughs> drop a few hints when i get home if there's any of them left um amazing right moving on to The high heel shoe charm, we were just eyeing this up. Where's it gone? Oh, oh there it is. Um, for those of you that, that, that will spend fortunes on heels, I won't because I, I ruin them. And to be honest, I don't do heels anymore. No. I'm, I'm all about the flats now. Yeah. Um, but these are very, these are very Valentino. Very Valentino. She does kind of like the studs. She, he, don't know. Um, yeah, they kind of do the studs. Look at that. Do you know somebody that's a girly girl that loves that, that, that loves their shoes, loves their fashion? Then this would be perfect. It's a nice little gift. Five pounds thirty-six, random price, but that's because we've taken every single penny off that we can. Really, every single penny. How much? That would be forty, fifty pounds in those charm shops, at the very least. At the very, very least. And how would we actually? Are you buying one? Yeah, for a charm. Are you buying two? Are you think? Are you thinking Christmas or just because? Christmas, yeah, I agree. Mm. Little sterling silver jump ring. Yeah. Attach it to the brace. Five thirty-six. Do you know what? I might buy one too. If you want, like I said, it's all right. I normally, uh, I, I... oh, they're not going to be any of these left. Oh dear. How many have we got? I think Natalie and I have got got mm. our eyes on them as well. Yeah, perfect. And they would be expensive, wouldn't they? I think stilettos. I think stilettos, um, in, in particular, would probably com uh, command a much higher price tag. They are gorgeous, aren't they? I like the fact the little heel has got you know that detail yeah. as well. Really lovely. Pop it onto a um, yeah simple jump ring. Would you agree? Yeah, just a jump ring, and that's it. That's all you would yeah, need. That's all, you need. all you would need. Well done, Sharon. Well done, Alison. Um, East Sussex, you're there as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I do think we need to start getting more sterling silver charms in. Christmas is, you know, it's ahead of us. Um, yeah, if you went into those charm shops, and I went in not so long ago, not so long ago, because um, let's, let's be honest, they're beautiful. They are really, really beautiful and really beautifully made. However, something like this should be talking at the very least £50, at the very, yeah. very least, for that gram weight anyway. 2.3 uh, grams in total, £5.36. Um, well, I tell you what, Wayne, in the break, if we get a chance... We'll all, we'll all get our orders in on that one, if there's any of them left. The 925 is on the instep of the shoe, too, so how nice is that? Um, okay, okay, you're telling me to stop buying? Stop buying? <laughs> stop buying. Oh, right, customers. <laughs> um, okay, let's do some more. So let's do some irregular drops. Which ones? Oh. Here we go. Carnelian irregular drops. Oh, juicy. Mm. Oh, it's like fire opal, this strand. Which, of course, if it was fire opal, would be considerably more expensive. But I actually think you could get the two mistaken yeah. for one another, couldn't you? Really lovely. 3 95 We must have bought um, a stash of irregular drops. All amazing quality gemstones, by the way, because we've had them in Labradite today. What else we've had them in? Moonstone. Carnelian. Is it amethyst? Did we have the amethyst? Amethyst. They've all been three ninety five. Mm. How amazing is that? Mm. <gasps> now, just because Dave, yeah. uh, Wayne's just saying, well, I don't want, I don't want to conform. I don't conform. <gasps> I don't want to do what everybody else does. Mm. You just need to top them, don't you? That's what you do, and you're thinking, oh, I've got to better that then. Two ninety five. Um, I mean, it's a no brainer, isn't it? it? At that kind of price tag, why wouldn't we? Um, I'm looking across at your beautiful jewellery. This would look amazing with yeah. the neck ki next kit. It would work really well with the um, copper as well, wouldn't it? I love that mm. necklace, that really beautiful long line necklace. Um, so, yeah, put, imagine popping some of this rich, mm. intense uh, carnelian in between, in between each of those. Are those moonstone, did you say? Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, pop them together. It looks incredible. Two ninety five only for this beautiful, vibrant, natural gem. So it's a member of your um a member sorry, I beg your pardon, this has been heated ever so slightly. It's not actually a treatment. Do you know that? It doesn't actually it's not classed as a, a treatment because it doesn't change anything, it doesn't alter anything, it doesn't add anything. Just it's just it's it's accentuating the beauty that's already there. Anyway, I digress. Um but yeah, uh, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy carats of this beautiful spicy gemstone mm, quite halloween sort of colors yes isn't it? And... do you know we'll be mm. saying we'll be we'll be celebrating halloween before you know it i know i know the nights are drawing in they are do you like night do you like the winter i love winter and autumn I do don't you want it at the beginning Mm, yeah, at the beginning, it's because yeah. it's, it's the change, isn't yeah, it? But, but I, then... I think it'll be a very long winter if it starts yeah, now. Yeah. Very, very long winter. So... Aren't we meant to have like an Indian summer, though? I've heard that. It's meant to be an Indian summer. I don't know, hopefully. That would be quite nice. Yeah. Would be quite nice. But yes, I do like winter as well. I do like winter. I like I like I like the snuggly blankets and the and the onesies. Chunky knits. Chunky knits. It hides a multitude of things. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all the indulgence that oh, comes yes. up. All oh, the slow cooker. Oh, you dig that out your smell slow when cooker. You, come in and you, you have nice cooks. stews. Stew. Dumplings. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Yeah. Those Love things. a stew. <gasps> Love that. Do you know? Oh, oh, bread that you just oh, dunk in. stop. You know. <laughs> mm. I'm hungry. Um, one of my husband's favourite meals, I don't cook it that often because I, I shouldn't imagine it's that, it's that slimming, let's put it that way. It's um, get a ham hock, get it from your, from, from your um, cooked, you get it cooked already, put it in with lentils and um, I forget what else goes in there. Um, yeah, your, your leeks and everything, just mm, bung it all in. Amazing. And it's like a really beautiful, it's a really beautiful uh, sort of, do Weight Watchers do it? Well, I wouldn't say mine is Weight Watchers. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really, really meaty, like, soup. Mm. Bring on winter. I want the stews now. Now we've been talking about it. Bring on the winter. Um, okay, moving on to purple agate in your plain rounds. Love this. You've got a lovely Mark. Good luck tomorrow, Mark. Not that you will need it, of course. Mark is with us um, all day on Mark Monday. All day. Isn't he lovely, Mark? Yeah, I mean, that's a long day, isn't it? It is a long day. A very long day. But he, he's, you know, he can handle it, can't he? Okay. He's hardcore. Like, he is superhuman. Mm. Um, the reason why I mention you, Mark, hopefully you're sleeping now, given the fact that you have got a massive, <laughs> massive show tomorrow. Um, but the reason why I mention you is because you love your agates. You love your agates. Four ninety-five. Apparently, Mark, you were confessing to ironing your underpants the other day and socks. Who does that? <gasps> oh no, ironing socks. No. I don't iron my bed sheets. No, I don't. I always buy the bed sheets that don't need yeah. ironing. He enjoys ironing, Mark. Oh, no. He's got a mountain of iron yeah. at home if you want to buy. Oh, yeah, I hate yeah. ironing. Oh. Um, anyway, the reason why I bring you up, we're not talking behind <laughs> your back, my lovely. Discussing his <laughs> um, underwear it's because you, and socks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Messaging if you're watching right now, you'll be like, do you mind telling everybody about me under, uh, ironing my underpants? Undergarments. Do you mind, Elle? <laughs> we, I thought we were friends. The reason why I bring you up, Mark, is because you love this gemstone, don't you? And you think it doesn't get nearly enough credit as it deserves. And I wholeheartedly agree. Agates will almost show you the journey. They, get, they give you great uh, sort of bandings. You can, you can get different sort of colour zones, which I love. I mean, look at the intensity of some of these. I've got a perfect chevron one here. Can you see that chevron? Where's the chevron? It's typical, isn't it? Can you see that chevron there? Mm. Oh, look at that. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty, aren't they? And a really be uh, beautiful, juicy colour. Like little blackberries. At four ninety five, it also means that they are super duper uber affordable. Um, well done. Moving on. Um, Labrite cabochons. These ones. Ooh, what are those sparkly ones? Mm. They're nice. Mm. Yes. Right. Ooh, they'd be lovely with. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Put the two together. <gasps> oh. Put them together. It's Look at the amount of labradescence. Yeah. 
Look at the amount of Labrador essence and the complete coverage of that entire cabochon. Um, so you get an assortment of shapes. Uh, 55 carats is made up of either ovals, pears, it might be cushions, it might be, it might be drops. I don't know. You, they're all cabochon shaped. 10.95. Wow! I mean, a lot of the carat weight in this, uh, you know, in our studio sample is actually within um, within this this statement gemstone just here. Um, however, you know, you might get three, you might get four of them. But look at that amazing quality, and all will be of that incredible quality. Do check out those baskets if you want yours. Um, I'd be surrounding these with some maybe beautiful blue seed beads. Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty, yeah, wouldn't it? Really bright blue. I think it would yeah. be gorgeous. Oh yeah, to really make that labradorescence mm. pop. Um, and if you want to do some wire working, um, then just to, to get some inspiration from lovely Natalie's um, wire work pendant just there. We also had wire working um, all throughout the day with our lovely Alison. In fact, we feature it quite significantly because it still is one of our most um, popular mediums that we do here at Jewelry Maker. Maybe pop it along some neon appetite, use it in amongst some sterling silver, but also with those beautiful um sunstone uh, cabochons that we have as well which we'll do after this we'll do it straight away in fact we'll go straight into it shall we um these are beautiful i love those i've seen them in like the mm. coppery gold mm. is it sunstone gold stone mm. so you actually get it is like a like like a beautiful starry night they are beautiful Shibori, mm. bead bezeling. They're brand new. Look how pretty they are. You get the three exact size sizes of 20 millimeters. Oh, oh no. these are pretty. I, I really them. like them. Yeah, aren't they gorgeous? Sparkle. We've got sparkle in them. Oh, them. <gasps> eight ninety five. Oh. I would expect these to sell out. I've got to be yeah. honest. Oh, there's only thirty nine. Oh. Seriously, how did we only buy 39 of them? Is that, is that all that was available? Oh, no. I would buy these. I'd definitely be buying these. Do you know what I'd actually be tempted to get? You know, like the old vintage clip-on earrings? Yes. And I'd glue lovely. it together to turn them into mm. clip-on earrings. Yeah. Why not? You yeah, could always glue them to your butterfly posts as well. You, you know, your studs and your yeah. butterfly posts. Of course, you can be bezel. Of course, you can wire work all of those. You can use them in your, um, treat them in, in your shibori silks. They'd be gorgeous on your backing foundation. I mean, I just look at them, I think, for ages yeah. and ages. Yeah. They are like the perfect starry sky, aren't they? I can't keep my hand still. Because if, if I keep my hand still, <laughs> you might not see all of that beautiful performance of glitter, which will, which will be demonstrated. Um, well, with every movement, with every breath that you take, really. Um, well done. Check out those baskets. Bev, Norman, hello to you. Sandra, Priscilla, Linda, B. These are popular. West Yorkshire, Nicola in Devon. Nicola in Essex. I've got people still dialing through. Um, B, I would do the same as you. Because I've never brought these to air before. I've, I think I've seen the golden colour. Mm. You know, like, um, like a sunstone colour. I've seen those. But never this really intense, like, navy blue. They're beautiful. They're lovely with your dress, actually. I, you know, I was just yeah. thinking, with because I'm, wearing a, bit of, I'm bit, wearing a bit of blue velvet. Because yeah. it's wintry, see? So yeah. Got the velvet out. Emma says you can't touch velvet. You gave me a cuddle earlier. Did it? Did it? Did I go through you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if Emma had done this? If she'd have actually gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Emma. I thought we were friends. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. If I you know, just 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 go and stand. Can you move? Can you step away, Al? Yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, Al. Um, but it would. You're quite right with the actual with with the sort mm. of dark blue. Pretty, and that's working out what three pounds each, which is just crazy, isn't it? Look at that. Even from a distance, you've got that beautiful, constant twinkling. It's, it's like, you know, at Christmas time when you get those lovely, you get those outside lights, you know, yeah. that, 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 that constantly have got that, constantly have that, that, that constant pattern, that, that, you know, that sequence, if you like. Three pounds each. Three pounds each. Amazing. Well done. Moving on. Um, let's do some elephant charms. Hup. Two, three, four, keep it up. 
two, three. Dee, 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 dee. Stepped into a bit song. of Jungle Book then. Oh, okay. I bought it for Willow the other day, Jungle Book. She was terrified. Oh. Yeah. You know, I was like, yeah, the, no, the cartoon, the cartoon. Yeah. She, um, she was terrified. She didn't like it at all. She was like, I don't, mummy, mummy, no like, more like Aww. the monkeys. It's okay, I'll turn it off. She liked Baloo, but she didn't like the monkeys. Here we go. So, look at these beautifully decorated elephant charms and they are um they are detailed on both sides as well so you get that really beautiful um silver work front and reverse 3.95 i mean seriously again I've, i know i sound like a broken record but how much would these be in those charm shops add zeros i actually think add a zero to that at the very least for one these are silver plated brass you know, all of those big charm shops, and I won't n mention their names, we all know the ones, all do silver-plated charms. And I think they start from £25, mm. don't they? For just one. £3.95. I mean, that is amazing. You could literally just do one on a jump ring and put those little glass charms at that yeah. kind of price, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, or just on a stretchy, you know, on the... Um Amethyst and just have it as one charm. Nice. Again, yeah? just um, very simple. You could enamel these. Yes. Ooh. With your new enameling kit that we've all got very excited about. You could enamel those because you'd still have that, that lovely detail. Three ninety five only for that beautiful, beautiful silver work. Um, yeah, are they Indian elephants that are actually sort of decorated like this? Or is, oh, yeah. very, uh, for, for, for wonderful celebrations. Um, and India, have in, uh, they've introduced a new law, haven't they? In that, uh, that the animals have exactly the same rights as humans Aww. in India. So how amazing is that? How, I, I think we should all be able to sort of t follow their lead in that. Yeah, animals have got the same rights as, 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 as humans, basically. Um, okay, moving on to... Moving on to... Um, in certain things, obviously, because I know obviously they do still eat meat, but yeah, there's certain things, ways of treatment. There's, they're a lot stricter mm. on their um, on their rulings now. Um, okay, moving on to neon appetite. I had my eye on this earlier. Wow, Aww. look at that colour. So here we go, crew. This is where I test you. No, Emma. Is it 0.56? No. 0.056? No. no. What's the average carrot weight of, naught po of Neon Appetite? 0.15. Oh. 14, you're a point out, yes, fair enough. So 0.15 is the average carrot weight of Neon Appetite. Yet yeah, look at the size of each of these rondelles. And then, I mean, they are huge. Look at that colour. So this is one of Wayne's favourite gemstones. Mm. Yeah, it, I have to say it's one of mine. It's very Paraiba-esque, isn't it? Um, some of the most beautiful lagoon-like blues. Um, it loves to show off. This is not a shy. This is not a shy and retiring gemstone at all. It loves to be noticed. You don't see these sizes very frequently, especially at 11.45. My goodness, I was expecting this to be about 40, 50 pounds. That is an amazing deal, don't you think? Do you, does anyone else disagree that this could very easily have been a 40, 50 pound strand? 11.45. <laughs> I know it's about, it's our super stash Sunday and it's about stocking up on, on, on bundles but also, but also on gemstones that we may ne never have been able to acquire before. I would use this with the indicolite. In fact, I think it would look amazing with the indicolite. Don't think that that's any reflection of the true value there. 11.45, I definitely would have said about 50 pounds. For that kind of quality, for that kind of colour, for that kind of absolutely beautiful intensity. Use it alongside your wildfire so the beading thread isn't detectable and, and create a really beautiful tennis bracelet neckline mm. piece with the sphene that you had earlier on. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I really enjoy the fact that it has actually got the greens in there too. It's an element of green coming yeah. through. 45 carats, jewelry makers, for beautiful, vibrant Neon Appetite. Arguably some of the most expensive Neon Appetite because it has got that much more um, intensity in terms of its actual saturation as well. Um, what about the actual elephant charms that you've just had? What about alongside this gorgeous cabochon? Oh, look. Yeah, that would work. All of a sudden, mm. it, was like, it was like I was... 
everybody was on cue then. They went, ooh, yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. See, completely unprompted, they went, ooh, ooh. What about alongside? Which one? Mm. Mm. I've got two. Have we got an image? Oh, near rounds. I guess I'm guessing these. <gasps> oh wow! Yeah. As soon as you said near rounds, I knew which one you meant. They are beautifully spherical, aren't they? Nine millimeter, thirty-eight centimeter strand, natural colour. Um, yeah, it's the more circular um, your pearls are the more valuable generally. Uh, what? <laughs> I can't believe these prices. Wayne, I've literally head in hand. It's my, how, what, what hour am I on now of today? I can't remember. Not as in the time, I know what the time is, but what hour of, of being here in the studio? So, I'm on my eighth hour, am I? Um, yes, of course I am. Is that what, am, am I just seeing things here? Am I literally <laughs> just seeing things and really that's like, like £129.95? Um, oh my goodness, so everything that's on my hand, Natalie, I can, I, I can get for less than £50. Just crazy, I mean, those pearls. <sighs> if, you know, you're, you're a London girl, mm -hmm. you know, um, you obviously have got some very lovely jewellery establishments mm -hmm. in around you. Yeah. Um, do you. Where do you live in London? Where about well, I live just outside in Bromley in Kent. Okay. So, but, you know, I go to London quite a lot. So, so yeah, I used to quite frequently sort of um, commute back and forth mm. to... Um, to um, I've just gone blank. It's my eighth hour of being on live television. <laughs> um, yeah, to back and forth to... Gosh, what's it called? In London. Hatton Garden. Hatton Garden. Sorry, yeah. Hatton Garden. Um, quite regularly, quite regularly. Um, and something like this, you'd have been talking really expensive yeah. amounts of money yeah. for this kind of quality pearl. Yeah, I mean, knotted, you know, it would be a few hundred pounds, wouldn't it? Yeah, at the very least, clasp, I think. Sterling silver clasp. If you then start putting it with your golds, I yeah. think you know, the price will go through the roof. Um, and I don't think these pearls would look out of place with the gold class no. at all, do you? No. These might be added to my order today. Um, mm. Near round pearls, you've got... A they're, they're tiptoeing to perfection, basically, um, in their spherical shape. And don't forget, these are an organic gemstone. So, um, so to, have, to have that shape, that consistency of shape, is, is just amazing. It really, really is. Um, and to have such a smooth um, and, and uh, iridescent nacre surface, all for just £30. Again, when you do turn this into a piece of jewellery, have it valued and appraised at some point. I would definitely recommend that. Um, I'm going to move on. We are 20 minutes away from uh, your next hour and your next kit and your um, and more demonstrations. We've even got more star buys to bring you too. But I like to have an interactive show. So message in if you've got any questions. Uh, tell us what you're up to. It's bank holiday weekend. I know it doesn't feel like it. Um, am I right in saying that usually your August bank holiday weekend is stinking hot? It's usually stinking hot, isn't it? Hopefully. It will be tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> today's not been too good. I'm sure last year was stinking hot. I think it was actually. I like that saying. Mm. Oh, it's stinking hot. <laughs> I do. Oh, I, get, I step into my Peter K then. Oh, I like it hot. But not this hot. You know, it's clammy. It's clammy, <laughs> isn't it? It's clammy, you know. <laughs> sticky. Sticky weather. We're so British, aren't we? <laughs> Never happy. Never ever happy. Right, moving on to beautiful lapis pears. I was just reading about Peter Kay today, actually. Do you know he's worth fifty million pounds, mm. Peter oh Kay? Oh gosh, really? Wow, I love him though. I think I he's do. lovely. I love him. Apparently his net his net worth, yeah, is about fifty million. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I think he's ace. I think he's absolutely amazing. He literally makes me belly laugh. <laughs> 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 
gorgeous lapis lazuli. $17.95. We're not dilly-dallying along the way. We're going straight down to it. Look at that. Beautiful, vibrant colour. This hasn't been dyed. Um, this is from the original location of Source. Um, you're looking for that beautiful Arabian blue with the sort of dustings of, um, of your, your pyrite inclusions, which are, are gold, basically. Golden dustings um, of a genuine gemstone. Um, this is steeped in history. I mean, I could tell you about, uh, about Cleopatra using it as makeup. I could tell you about Michelangelo using it to paint with. Um, but, you know, it has been adorned, I think, for centuries, thousands of years, not set just centuries. $14.95. Just take what it is ridiculous, Emma. You're so right. That's what Emma just said. Ridiculous. And she really meant that, then, didn't mm. Ridiculous, she said. It is ridiculous. You did say it, Emma. Did you not even realise you said it? She didn't even realise she said it. You know, you know sometimes when you actually sort of talk under your, you know, have a little mumble to yourself, talk under your breath. So you didn't realise that you'd actually said that out loud. Ridiculous, she said. Just saying it out loud now. Fourteen ninety five. Just take one in a pair of lovely shepherd hook earrings. Um, pop one on a pendant, or really go all out in a very elaborate design. I'm almost thinking of now, Natalie, your your beautiful seed beading. So could you seed bead a necklace and have these suspended from the bottom? You could, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you could have like the lariat style as well. Um, you know, I've made a lariat style necklace here. Nice. You have them. Um, the larger ones at the bottom suspended and that would that would like really help it sort of drape mm, and yeah. sort of, uh, so suspend beautifully yeah. oh I, i'm just picturing about you know hannah osborne did that sea beaded necklace mm. you know the one really beautiful sea beaded necklace so you could kind of have these she did it with kyanite yeah you could do so they're at the bottom yeah. going around yeah definitely that would be yeah, really like lovely netted, oh, netted one. yeah 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 amazing and with that kind of color too mm. if you've got any blue sea beads or gold sea gold. beads um, oh. in your stash it'd be absolutely exquisite check out those baskets 124 carats of beautiful lapis lazuli um totally natural and we do predominantly always source it from uh, from the, the original location of afghanistan um yeah because the quality is i think is some of the finest in the world basically 14.95 is not reflective though of the true value i think i'm sure you'd all agree the fact that you have got all of those pirate inclusions it's a gemstone within a gemstone and i still find it super cool that, that the pyrite forms in a perfect cube have you seen that this is how pyrite forms that's how that's how it forms this has probably been polished but that is not that's not faceted that's no how way. the crystal forms really yeah wow. isn't it cool that is really cool so when they say pyrite's cubic it really is <laughs> mm. it really really is cubic it's been polished a little bit you know yeah. you've probably taken some of the host rock off but that's 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 marie's yeah that's exactly how it's that. formed isn't it ace? Mm. How cool is that? Um, anyway, right, moving on. Don't drop that. Mustn't ever drop that. Right then, moving on to... Oh, I've had my eye on this. Mm. Yeah, I saw that earlier. How mm. much is this? Oh, I've really got my eye on it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Um, beautifully displayed by our lovely Lucy. I'm going to just gather them all up though. Look at those colours. <gasps> the price of this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at all of those different colours. So you have here, um, like a really lovely, I, I, I don't even know how to describe that colour. I'm going to bring it to the back of my hand in, in, in a moment. It's not a lavender, though. It's like a pinky lavender, isn't it's it? It's like a metallic -y sort of... It's like a mauve. It? Yeah. Like a mauve colour. Um, you've got... Again, this is kind of like a chocolatey iridescent. Um, I don't know how to describe... How have we described them in our specifications? So, I, I mean, it's quite hard. It's one of those palettes that is, you, none of them are your usual colours, are they? None of them, not one of these strands. You get a metre of each colour. So I'm going to start with these lovely kind of, well, they are autumnal. Yeah, absolutely. This is, this is kind of like a, um, a pinky nudie colour, I suppose. Yeah. A metre there. Um, here is your beautiful, beautiful mauve. Um, I think this is one of my favourites. Again, it's a complete full metre long length here as well. 
So if I just pop this over my hand. So look at that. It's a lot of jewellery straight away. Then you get these really amazing... Ooh, I like that colour. Crimson reds. Mm. Oh, they are like berries, aren't they? Can I pass that to you to mm. just untwist? Then you've got this really beautiful, uh, like a bronze, I guess, a, a bronze colour, which I just think looks amazing, really beautiful together. Sorry, Lucy, I've taken it off your bust and I just want to put it across the back of my hand just to see above, uh, see above um, against the skin tone, rather. So, look at that, thank you. There's that gorgeous sort of oh, berry colour. That's absolutely stunning. And last but by no means least, I literally don't know how to describe this one. That's pretty. Mm. At 69.95 for five metres of these amazing colours. Or is it? How many have I got of them? How many do I have? Okay, 65 of these within the vault. So that's working out at just over £10 per metre of pearls. Out of one metre, you're going to get multiple bracelets or multiple designs. Um, you get that five times over. Just over £10 per strand of pearls. That's incredible. These are pretty. The colours are amazing. Have you got a favourite? This one's mm, mine. Yeah, I think it's this one, actually. I don't know how to describe that colour, though. Can you see? I just love the metallic sort of effect that it's got, you know? A mocha, Paul a is mocha. saying. Mm. Yes, but then that could be quite mocha. No, that's a bit more bronze, isn't it? Yeah. That's more of a bronze colour. But I do really like this mauve too. Mm. Um, wow, five metres of your beautiful autumn colours. Um, I think it's one of my favourite pearl bundles, actually, that I've seen in a long time. It's really lovely. The colours are so complementary, are so on trend. Mm. You could team in some ecru colours in there. You could use all of your precious metals, your rose gold, your, your silver, your yellow gold. You can team any gemstone. I mean, let me just... For, for, for example, just pop, uh, I mean, yeah. how beautiful is that with your emeralds? Um, you could put, the lapis would look amazing if you want to put some of your ivory pearls. Oh, gorgeous. All of this is absolutely amazing. And you get five metres. Um, I've never brought you these colours before, and I mean that about every single strand. I've never brought you this one that we're describing as mocha, which is metallic mocha, let's yeah. put it that way. Um, I've never seen this really beautiful, kind of like berry red, very, very sort of a, a dark berry red. Um, this is like a, a, like a coppery colour pearl. Then you've got these really lovely mauves. Let me separate those two out. I don't know why I didn't separate them like the rest of them. Um, so then you've got this really gorgeous kind of mauve, pinky mauve colour. And last but by no means least, you also have this kind of like a pinkish ivory, I suppose. They are pretty. Five metres. Um, just to give you an idea, if I can just literally pop that, slide those four down. I'm going to keep my favourite strand here. Just to give you a little idea of how much you can actually create. Am I twisting that the right way? Or oh, typically, no. I'll grab another one. Here we go, in the essence of time. <laughs> how many I can, pieces of jewellery I can create out of one metre? and much more. So I've got one, two, three, four, five bracelets, but I could definitely create matching earrings and yeah. possibly even more than that. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. 59.95, well done. Check out those baskets if you want to grab yours. Oh, gosh, stop tempting me, Wayne. Oh, really stop it. Like stop tempting. I want it too. Yeah, yeah that's so decadent, isn't mm. it? Um, I have to just do one thing. One thing, just quickly, before we go. Before we move on, is that all right? Am I allowed? Just because I really wanted to get these, they are so different. They are so different to anything that we've brought you previously in terms of the actual colours. And I do think we're specialists in pearls. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, I think it's yeah. definitely one of our strengths, one of our fortes. Mm. So if I just... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you're going to do the twist. <laughs> <gasps> Look at that. That's a lot of pearls. It's gorgeous too, isn't it? Check out if you want yours. Okay, moving on to sky blue topaz. The uh, amazing quality. With your neon appetite, with your indicolite, with your colour change, with your rubellite. Oh, they'd be beautiful with the rubellite. Thirty-four ninety-five. Wow! 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 Um, so this gemstone, topaz, 
has, I, I, I learned something recently that I was like, wow, okay. I've always been an admirer of topaz. It is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. It, it loves to show off this sparkle, basically. It's got lovely, um, often actually found in amazing clarity. Um, it's got fantastic durability as well, um, way beyond many other gemstones. Um, but did you know that... So, I, I, in fact, I, I can put this to the crew. This is a good question. So, what do you think is the number one selling blue gemstone? Sapphire. Yes, it is. It's sapphire. What do you think is the number two? I thought that. Tanzanite. Yeah, I thought tanzanite. No. That's number three. This is number two. Topaz is the second most purchased blue gemstone on this planet. Um... And by the way, and by the way, it has increased by a massive 800% over the past sort of five years. And that's because it takes a lot of time to actually acquire this beautiful colour. Um, so you take amazing specimen gem qualities um, of, your, of, of your gemstones um, and it's treated um, usually with your irradiation to get this be beautiful, beautiful intensity. Um, and normally it's very, very expensive. Today, not the case though. Look at that. It's just the most glorious azure blue. Blue. I'll be popping that alongside my near round pearls. Mm. That's exquisite. I mean, if you go into Harrods, you will see something very, very, very similar to that, usually with five figures yes. attached to it. And obviously diamonds, I get it, and their brand, of course, that. Um, so Paul is saying, yeah, that's very, very wintry. It is, isn't it? It's a little bit frozen-esque. Mm. I won't sing it. <laughs> Shall we do? Oh, look at the size of these. I don't like the description. Kidney hooks is not a nice description to put with any finding. <laughs> but that is what we know what they mean when you see them. Now you see these lovely little black tabs. And you might be thinking, oh, oh there's a little bit of rubbish in my in my pack. It's not rubbish. That's anti-tarnish. It's actually anti-tarnish. Keep hold of it. Just put one in your jewellery box. Or if you sell your jewellery, just transfer it into, um, into the packaging, whatever. That itself, prevention is better than cure when it comes to your tarnishing of sterling silver. Um, so look at the size of these. You get where it gets its name from. Um, they are beautiful. They really, really are. I just don't like the description. 3 95 It's a big gram weight of sterling silver. You've got well over a gram um, of solid sterling silver here. Um, and basically, they kind of like hook into one another. You would suspend from this area, if you wish. Um, so we're looking at the front just there. Great for your kind of opera length designs. 2 95 I'm getting some of these. Have we got a big quantity of them? Okay, not so much. Not so much. But um, if, you, if, you, if you just tuned in, there is quantity there. It just needs to be checked out of those baskets. I mean, take any of those gemstones that I've brought you so far today. Your lapis lazuli, all of those pearls, your rubellite, your indicolite, you know, all of your big statement gemstones. You know, you could just... The tassels from the strand would look yeah. absolutely amazing, suspended. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Amazing. I'm looking across at... What are the faceted gemstones at the bottom of your, um, of, of your lariat design necklace? Uh, I think they're agates. Agates, I carved think. agates. Carved agates yeah. So you could just pop a couple of those mm. um, on the bottom of, uh, of your shepherd hooks and they would yeah. look absolutely amazing. Two ninety five only, do you want to make us? Yeah, I w it, it is. Stock up your stash Sunday. No, it's not. What's it called? What's it called? Super stash, Super stash Sunday. Sunday. Same difference. Super stash. <laughs> Super stash Sunday. Say that fast. No, I was asking you. <laughs> Super stash Sunday. They like they like they like they like all the. <laughs> it does sound like a massive ice cream. <laughs> I want a super stash Sunday, <laughs> mummy. Please can I have a super stash Sunday? <laughs> to a chocolate sauce on that? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> to a flake on that? Yes. Do you want whipped cream? Absolutely. Hot fudge. Wow. Oh, stop it. We're on the desserts again, aren't we? Um, wow. Uh, 2.95 only. Well done. I had just over 50 of them, but they are flying out the door. Um, okay, I can squeeze in. I can squeeze in a couple more deals before the top of the arrow. Um, and then we're into our last hour of the day. Where did that go? Mm -hmm. Peacock perfection. Um, have you ever seen a peacock? Very good, Ella. <laughs> They're magnificent creatures, aren't they? Oh, 
Um, I, I, when I went over to India, pretty much every every hotel has their own peacock, a resident peacock, mm. and they literally just go sashay around, don't they? Mm. 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 Uh, they do. Hello to you, Anila. Hello, Elle. Uh, didn't see you sing Baby Shark on the Late Show. I actually look forward to this. No. Anila, I'm in under strict instructions tonight. <laughs> like, literally, Paul might never speak to me ever again if I do it. Oh, dear. When am I in? <laughs> Apparently, he's going to mute me. Well, that's fine, then. I'll get told off, Anila. I'll do it on Tuesday. Tuesday morning. I like it. I mean, they're so serious. They just, yeah, so serious here. Come on, everybody likes a bit of Baby Shark. Everybody does. You know you do. That's less than ten pounds. <laughs> less than ten pounds <laughs> per genuine cultured pearl. Anila, I know. I know. I know. Uh, see, uh, listen. Carol has a regular drops. I've got the Baby Shark. <laughs> Apparently, Paul doesn't like either. Okay. Oh, well, what do we say to that then? I like it. I, I, did, say, I did sing it to uh, Natalie earlier, and she was suitably unimpressed. Let's just put it that way. Um, <laughs> 1995, how about alongside your gorgeous neon appetite? This is £10 per strand, and they are absolutely perfect, aren't they? Um, because they do, they have that, their, their tails, their feathers do have an iridescence, don't mm. they? So it only seems, uh, seems sensible, I suppose, that, that a pearl would acquire that same description, because you get a kaleidoscope of colour across the surface of the pearl, and it is actually reflecting um, the, the, the colours of its surroundings in actual fact. Um, an ivory pearl will do exactly the same. It reflects the colours of maybe what you're wearing, the clothing that you're wearing, the environment that you're actually in. At less than £10 per strand, absolutely amazing. Check out those baskets if you want to guarantee success. Um, 0806 before 645, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. I mean, a real indulgence. Again, this would be um, a much, much, much... Um, higher uh so sort of considered price tag if you were looking elsewhere if you're actually looking elsewhere beautiful really 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 beautiful um and would you knot them yes i would definitely not, not them. in between yeah use your wildfire that we had earlier on yeah or seed beading seed between. beading love it love it love it love it um okay gotta move on well done so our final hour folks um for all of the uh knowledge that you need all of the inspiration make sure you are with us for this next hour because we've got some beautiful jewelry from a beautiful kit after this <laughs> Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, it's guest designer Mark Smith here with a little date for the diary. Well, it's not actually a little date actually. Monday the 27th of August, as many of you know, is bank holiday and we've decided to turn the channel over to me, so it's going to be Mark Smith Monday. So I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the items that we have in all three shows over the day. Now the morning show is rather special because we've got a brand new to jewelry maker, Seed Bead Launch, and the name of these little seed beads are called Coco Beads. I'm not going to give you too many details about it, but we've got four kits over the morning show, brand new seed beads, Coco Beads. Then in the mid-show, I've got two amazing kits, one consisting of Amazonite and the second, the most amazing shell cabochons I think I've ever seen. Late show, myself and presenter Zena will be going a bit old school. We've got the most amazing kit that will enable you to make a full-length Swarovski knitted sea bead necklace. It's, it's just stunning. I'm actually making it at the moment and it is just, it's just beautiful and the most amazing amethyst kit. So that's what we've got during the day. Now you may be wondering what I've got in this 
a rather fetching little box here. Well, this is the deal of the day. So Monday the 27th, Bank Holiday Monday, this is deal of the day. Now, this is probably the finest, most extraordinary strand of aquamarine that we have ever featured in the eight years of Jewelry Maker. This is gonna go down in history as one of the most amazing strands. So this is the deal of the day. Here we go. This is Santa Maria Aquamarine. Now this is rather special. It's the most considered strand we've ever featured on the show. We've only had 31, so it's probably one of the most limited quantities we've ever had. And what's rather special about this strand is we've had it specially drilled for us. So we don't have to now look around for finer threads or featherweight head pins because we have had the Santa Maria Aquamarine strand drilled, as I've just mentioned, especially for us, to 0.6 millimeter drill holes. So we'll be able to use all of our wires, all of our findings, all of our threads. So this is the deal of the day on Monday bank holiday. So if you join me and Carol from eight in the morning, this will be shown at 11. We've got cocoa beads, we've got amazing kits throughout the day. Hope you can join us for Mark Smith Monday. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Okay, are you ready? I can't believe it's our final hour already. Where's, where's today gone? It doesn't feel like nine hours that I've been with you. It really doesn't. It's been fun. I have done nine hours. You did this on the spot. Well, on this morning show. Okay, I've done eight. I've got an hour left. No. That's why he has the reputation as Grumpy Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aww. pedantic Paul. We'll use that, shall we? Use that one. Right, we're putting all of our amazing bundles on pre-order. Um, one of which I have to show you. Can I just grab that for a second? I mean, how cool is this? <gasps> I love this cut. I love... You get all three strands in this one bundle. They're like... Bam it's like bamboo. Do you see that? You like the bamboo shape. Um, with the fuchsia, with that beautiful, vibrant green, this is available for pre-order from now, along with Join the Band bundle. I don't know. <laughs> I... I, I, I I'd... This is this is this is eye catchers, but join the band is also available. Join the band. I don't know where that name came from, and also Earth Tone Three. Why why three? Why Earth Tone Three? <laughs> Does anyone else want to burst into some kind of Michael Jackson song when you hear Earth Tone? Ah uh, ah uh, yeah. Stop it, Elle. Stop it. Stop <laughs> singing. <laughs> Only one of us to Villa Michael Jackson. Um, they're all available. They are all available for pre-order now. Um, let's bring you. <laughs> oh, don't. We've also got. <coughs> don't leave me out. Oh, don't leave me. Oh, that's just sad. That's just really sad. Okay. I mean, I, I think we need to go and have a little chat with our with our bundling team. Are you okay? <laughs> Come on. Bring it in. Have a cuddle. Are you okay? We're not going to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> and who, who's got aspirations of joining a band? Don't know. Don't know. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Should we do our next kids? <laughs> feel like some people need a cuddle. <laughs> Come and give me a cuddle. Or cutch, as we say in Wales. Um, a cutch. 
It's a cuddle. It's a cuddle, basically. For those who are like, what has she just said? Kutch. It's a cuddle. It's a cuddle. Okay. Um, starting with your wires. You're getting your 0.6 um, and you're getting your 0.4 in your beautiful copper wire. I love this colour. It's just, it's almost like you've just had a tangerine. It has got mm. that beautiful kind of orangey tone to it. Sorry, I just outed you. Right, um, a beautiful orangey <laughs> tone, um, which is incredibly lustrous. looks amazing with all different colored gemstones, I think. You just get that really wonderful color contrast. Um, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4, very, uh, very usable gauges, which looking across at Natalie's jewelry, well, the amount that you've created there, Natalie, um, and, and I'd imagine you've probably been able to go on and do more, yeah. <laughs> creativity was flowing. <laughs> anyway, um, not just done there, we also have an amazing strand of irregular drops um, in your moonstone. Um, so these, they've just, they've got a, re a really lovely sort of... Sorry, white, are they white agate? Really? Oh, oh okay. I, I actually thought they were moonstone. Wow, no, okay. Four, well, that's a really good thing if I misinterpreted the two. Because it's telling me that it's, it's <clears throat> really beautiful quality agate that almost has got like, um, almost actually has got, I'm not saying it has got that. <laughs> I'll start that sentence again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so maybe, <laughs> maybe it is obvious that I've done nine hours now. I've totally just mixed up that entire sentence. I misinterpreted it for Moonstone, so it has almost got that adolescence within. I'm not saying it has, but I had that, I was mistaking its identity. Move on, Al, because you're not making matters any worse. Uh, any better, rather. <laughs> oh, dear. Emma. Yes. Emma, let's just, just do a swap. <laughs> here, you come, you come and stand here and I'll do the cameras. What do you reckon? I think that's probably a good idea. Um, then you also have got this wonderful, very impressive, checkerboard faceted um, green agate cabochon. Look at that. It's almost malachite, isn't it? In its actual patterns and colours, which again, if this was malachite, it would be extremely, extremely expensive. I'll try and hold that like so. Still not done though, because we have got your agate uh, flowers. Um, look at those. Oh, they're nice, those. aren't they? Yeah. Really, really lovely. Pretty. They are, um, yes, yeah, like a fig leaf. You've actually got um, the actual drill hole there. And I'm looking across. Natalie has actually put them at the bottom of that really beautiful lariat style necklace, which is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It just works, this kit. And I'm going to go as far as saying it's, it's a favourite of mine. Mm. I like it. I yeah, really think I they all work together. Yeah. The copper with the green, the copper with the agate, just beautiful. Um, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm absolutely certain you'd have had lots left over. So you could have prob Indeed, probably gone yeah. on and made more. Yeah, lots of wire. Not that you needed lots to, because obviously yeah. you've got one, <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of jewellery there out of this yeah. one kit and leftovers. Yeah. Are you ready? for this amazing, the final kit of the day, your incredible <coughs> price tag, $17.95. Oh, wow. Oh, that Ooh. is amazing. That is so for your 0 0.6 and your 0 0.4 wire, you're getting, um, oh, hang on a minute, there's 20 metres of your 0.4, 20 metres on that reel, I didn't realise that, 10 metres of your 0 0.6, so you've got 30 metres, 20 metres, when did we start doing 20 metre reels? I didn't realise it was 20 metres, actually. Hmm. No, it definitely looks like 20 metres. Yeah. yeah so you're getting 30 metres. Your agates um, are absolutely mm. huge. I mean, that one is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. With your agate, um, your irregular drops, and also these beautiful carved, uh, carved leaves at the front. 17.95. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous kit. I'm, I'm going to guess, did Marie build this kit? It would say a name alongside it. I reckon she did, because she's really fond of these. She's really fond of these cabochons. I wouldn't be surprised if she did. How many did we have? Only 48, so it's a limited kit. I'm not surprised with that. And at that price tag, it's not going to hang around for very, very long. I mean, these would look beautifully. Uh, the colours would look amazing with an injection of pink. I mean, think about mm. some of the bundles that are coming up. Maybe some of the fuchsia pinks would look gorgeous yeah. in there as well. Um, you could put further labradite in there. All of your regular drops. The carnelian that we had just a, a few moments ago yeah, for 2 95 as well. Go nice. Amethyst. Yeah. 
Mm. Love it. I'm going to make my way over um, to Natalie because I can't wait to show you all her gorgeous, gorgeous jewellery. And you said, Natalie, you could have gone on to make more. Yeah, I mean, I still, I mean, I used all of the um, agate. Yeah. Same for this time. Yeah. But I mean, I've still got a lot of wire left. And so, findings. Yeah, and findings. I mean, the findings obviously from. Does fire tins come with this kit? Is no, there are, yeah. there are essential findings yeah, packs. Yeah, so, um, I mean, there is just, yeah, loads. And, and you've loads rosary of linked the, um, the irregular drops. I have. I love that look. It's yeah. just beautiful. Is that like a scarf or is it actually attached together? Uh, you, know, you know, sometimes you get the wrap around. No, ones. it's just a complete, yeah, wrap around. It's a complete so I wrap length. it around once. So it's like a lariat. So, wow. So it's just like one long, big strip. How beautiful. Yeah. How beautiful. 17 95 I've got to be honest, I'm really, really, really surprised that this kit hasn't sold sold out already. Um, it's bank holiday Monday. I know I know that we've got we might have family around, etc. But mm. that's a saving and a half, that isn't is it? That really is. Really cool. I'm quite surprised. Those of you that shop with me regularly will will, will know that I do yeah, basically say it as it is. I don't sort of I don't stand on what's this what's on ceremony. If you like, I've only got a limited quantity of these and I'm amazed that they haven't flown already. I mean, that agate on its own, I think, is worthy of that price tag. £17.95. Look yeah. how beautiful it is. Yeah. It's like malachite. You've also got these carved leaves, which look how pretty they are. Top drilled. You get 30 metres of two of the most desirable gauges of wire. And also your regular drops. I mean, incredible, all for just seventeen ninety five. Amazing. And your jewellery is truly beautiful, oh, Natalie, you. it really is. What are you going to demonstrate for um, us today? I'm going to demonstrate how to do the rosary link and yes. just how to add the green leaves in at the bottom. Good. So, I'm just going to show yeah, you down. I'm always on the move, sorry. That's all right. That's OK. That's OK. <laughs> OK, so two, um, I will need, sorry. Yeah, the sorry, irregular drops. Irregular drops to start with. Um, so when I created this um, necklace, I, I did use the whole strand. Um, what, what I did was I, I took the um, smaller ones for, you know, earrings and things like that. So I sort of made sure when I cut the strand, I, cut, I took sort of, say, like five off each end. So it was still equal in yeah. size. You know, yeah, so it's balanced. Sense. Yeah, so it's balanced. So if I just grab, just say they were used for something else. They were used for, I think, more the, um, yeah, some of the earrings. Okay. So now, to do rosary linking, um, you, I used the 0.4 wire, okay? And I've just cut a manageable length um, of wire there. So you'll need your round nose pliers. And you'll notice the further um, towards the tip of the pliers, the further away you are, the bigger the loop will be when you start to create your um, wrap loop. So I kind of wanted it not to be too big, so I've probably got about just short of a centimetre in, okay? And you'll notice there that I've left about, what would that be, about five centimetres, I think? Millimetres. Yeah, Millimetres. No, oh, there. right, like there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah just probably about quite five. a bit because we're going to use this tail bit here to yeah. wrap. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, so I've just got that in between my pliers, um, I've got about half a centimetre in, I'm going to push that wire away, okay, so it creates like a, a right angle, mm -hmm. okay, and then I'm going to slightly, well, I'm going to adjust my pliers, so I always say um, it's like a bird's beak, so you're going to adjust, yeah, no. <laughs> Do <you know> <laughs> <that>? <laughs> um, and then you're going to get the tail, so the, the part of the wire that you pushed away from you and push it back towards you. You got a some, would song. some would say it looks a bit like a baby shark. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so what we've done now is we've pushed it, moving on, <laughs> before you get in trouble yeah. now. Um, I've got my wire, so I've pushed it back towards me and I've adjusted my pliers again because what I want to do is create a complete loop there. So. Those top, top drill drops oh. could be baby shark teeth. <laughs> they could, oh, Vicky. They could. I was just in the background being a, an octopus. Do, 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 do. I haven't done baby shark, have I, no. technically? Technically speaking. No, this is true. I'll stop distracting this you now, Natalie. No, that's okay. Right, so we've gone the whole way around to create a loop there. So if I just show you that on my hands, you can see I've got a loop there. 
Okay, so you see this shorter length here. This is what we're going to use to wrap around the longer part of the wire. I always swap my pliers over at this point and just the loop we've just created, I want to protect that. I don't want it to uh, get distorted. So I always use my flat nose pliers to hold on to that loop. And then with the um, shorter tail, we're going to just create... I always wrap three times, okay? So just carefully wrap around three times, okay? So that's the first loop done there. And I'm going to snip that excess off and then just get my flats and just get rid of any sharp bits there. Then I'm going to thread my first moonstone on. I was going to say moose, not moonstone, agate. Sorry, not, yeah, it's, it's my it's fault. An easy, no, it's yeah. an easy mistake, I was my lovely. Convinced, I'm convinced myself. Definite easy mistake. Okay, so I've let that drop now down to the loop that I've just created. So you can see that just dropped. So we want to create, um, replicate the loop on the other end and making sure there's no movement. So we want to lock that bead in place, okay? So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to get my pliers, I'm going to sit them flush on top of that um, agate there. And I'm going to create the, do the exact same movement again. So I'm going to push the wire away from me. I'm going to adjust my pliers so it's like the bird. There you go. Or, or the shark. Or the shark. <laughs> okay. Get the wire, push it back towards me. And again, I'm going to adjust my pliers again. And you can see there, that's created a loop. Okay, I've changed my pliers over just to squish the, uh, not squish, just to lock that round the loop that I've just created into place so it doesn't move. And then I'm just going to wrap, so three wraps, just to lock that. So we don't, we want to stop that from moving. We don't want any movement. Well, we don't want it to be, be able to move up and down. Okay, so there's, that's that there. So again, snip that off. So now, that's the very first one we've created. What you've got to do now is remember when you create your next one, is you've got to remember to connect them because that's one of the biggest mistakes. You can just get carried away and you think, oh, actually, I haven't connected them to each other. So you'll create that again, but I'll just show you how to add that link into this um, loop I'm now going to create. So you're doing the same movement again. So I'll do that quickly, so away from you, back towards you, mm -hmm. just to create that loop. Now, before you lock that in place by wrapping it, you're going to get the, pre the um, wrapped bead and thread the loop through the um, loop we've just created there that hasn't been locked yet. And then I'm going to hold on to that, and then now I can wrap that into place. So again, three wraps. And they're, they're, they're now connected and they can't, um, so it's rosary link, so it can't, you know, if you it's snap not going it, anywhere, yeah, it's not yeah. going anywhere, so it's nice and secure. And also it just makes, uh, you get a lot more from your strand by doing something like this. So you would continue that to, till you've got the length of your um, necklace. So I've just done it on both sides. I think I had like, gosh, it must have been about maybe 20 odd on each side. Yeah, I mean, that's so lovely, um, isn't it? You can, you know... It's up to you how long or short you want this necklace. And then um, if I just show you quickly how I created the... Attach um, the bottom. Attach the bottom. So I use the 0.6 for this, OK? And again, I cut a, just a manageable length, so probably about 15, maybe 14 centimetres, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start off by creating a loop first. OK, so this is top drilled, so the, the, the hole uh, uh, is sort of in the top, but going through it, not through the side, through yeah. the top, from front to back, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create... So this is probably not the normal way that other guest designers do, but I just found this way was a bit easier for me. So again, I'm going to create that sort of wrap loop that I just showed you moments ago. I'm just going to wrap that round. And this is slightly thicker wire, so... This um, is the, the, this the, is point the point six. six. Yeah. So I've created... So I've just wrapped that round a few times there. And again, cut that off. And then if you just spend a bit of time getting rid of the sharper bits. So you'll see now, so I'm now going to thread that through. Oops. And what I'm going to do is, um, you can see this is like I'm leaving a bit of a gap there. And I'm going to, because what I want to do is that I want that to sit on top. So I'm just pushing that up. So I want that to sit on top there. 
of the actual of leaf. Of the actual leaf. So if I just show you from this side, you can see there's like that's um, there's a bit of gap. So there's still some movement. And what I'm going to do with this side. So I'm going to take the wire back up and I'm going to wrap it around the loop again, around the bottom part. So I'm just sort of going over um, the, the, the wraps I've just created. So it's going to be quite bulky, but I wanted that sort of look. Yeah. So I'm just going to hold that in place. Just, just getting that wrapped around. And I'm, again, I'm just going to do two or three wraps. So I'm just holding the loop that I've created. I'm just doing two or three wraps. So you're happy, so it's, and you can see there now, that's nice and sturdy. And decide, I want it, decide which, you know, I'm going to cut the wire so it's around the back, so you don't, you don't see it at the front. And then just squish that down there, get rid of any sharp bits. So what I would do this, so that's just created the, um, the ends of the lariat, so you just got to remember that when you, um, are doing your rosary linking that you connect the two. Yep. I think I actually added mine with a jump ring because I wanted the movement. Sorry, I put my big head in the way there. Well, that's all right. Um, what I did, yes, I used, um, if I grab one of these jump rings, I used the jump ring. So you just find your opening there. Get your pliers, open up one towards you, one away from you. And I added that in there. Um, just so that it's got that movement yeah, yeah I, I it agree. makes a difference. So if you were to just connect them, you wouldn't quite get that movement, and then you would add it onto your um, your agate there and just close that up. I mean, they could look. just be attached to a yeah. pair of shepherd hooks, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, or that, yeah. If you just wanted earrings, you could just exact just do that exactly that, and that's it. Absolutely stunning, mm, and you would pay more than seventeen well. ninety five for a pair yeah. of earrings, Oops. those gemstone earrings, but. You'd have all of that left over as well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. Natalie. They're You're absolutely welcome. beautiful. Um, so just to recap, you get this amazing strand of your irregular drops. Um, that is a 38 centimetre strand, I believe. Am I right in saying? I beg your pardon, 29, looks a lot longer than that, but they're absolutely jam-packed on there on as well. There. Yeah, it's a big carrot weight there. Um, you're getting, mm -hmm, just hold that like that. You're getting two of these beautiful leaves oh, that yeah, uh, Natalie was just demonstrating with. So you get two of those carved leaves. Again, they are top drilled as well. So as you can see, uh, Natalie just dem demonstrated how you actually attach your wire. You get this absolutely gorgeous, um, agate cabochon checkerboard faceted that in terms of its size is 40 by 30 millimeters you've also got 30 meters of wire so 20 meters in your point four do you know what I was thinking whilst you were demonstrated as well you and Alison have both rosary linked with point four wire today mm -hmm. and Alison was saying earlier on that some designers don't like to do it really yeah oh, no, but I, like it. it's my I favorite one. yeah I, th I actually think it's 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 a lot more dainty, but yeah. yet very, very, very strong. Yeah. I like 4.4. Yeah. So you've got 20 meters there, so more than enough to do you know, a lot of rosary linking. You've also got 10 meters of your 0.6. Grab them whilst you can. All at this incredible 17.95 price tag. So yeah, beautiful. I mean, that every a pair of earrings you would be you'd expect to pay more than that, wouldn't mm, you? For yeah. um, these are genuine gemstones, ultimately. Um, but you can get so much more out of it. It's a kit that just keeps on giving. Check out those baskets. We have got more amazing bundles to bring you within this hour, including some really lovely bamboo-shaped uh, gemstones, um, including join the band. <laughs> mm. I, don't, I just almost feel like we should, be, we, should, we should be kind of marching around the studio when I say that. I don't know why it was called join the band. Does anyone know? No. No. Mm. I don't know. It's a mystery. It is a mystery. What next then, Wayne? Should we do eye catchers? Is that, that's with the bamboo, isn't it? That's with the bamboo shape. This is lovely. I think this is going to be one of the popular, uh, most popular bundles of the day. Do you know why? Because of that shape. Yeah. This yeah, is cool. Really sure. Very Gucci. Mm. Gucci do still, I think they'd still do it anyway. I don't know. They do a collection, or they did, of jewellery which has got the bamboo shaped. Uh, shapes and they also do um, handbags. Yeah, I was going to say the handles. Yeah, yeah. the hang yeah. handle itself is like yeah. a bamboo. Um, and I'm talking about this lovely one here. It's, um, uh, have we got the graphics? 
so I can see the actual carrot weights and size, sizes. Straight away, we've got people checking out. Um, so your multi agate fancy shape, um, they're 10 by 6 millimeters, and they're, yeah, they're kind of hourglass shape. Um, 10 by 6 millimeters, let me just double check. Yeah, really thick uh, drill hole, too. So you're going to get most of even elastic. These would be great for Jen's jewelry, wouldn't mm. they? Um, these. So sizable drill hole running through the center. You get 100 carats on this one strand. Then you've got five carats of that beautiful fuchsia purple agate in two millimeter size. And you've also got five carats in your green agate, um, two millimeter size. That, uh, this, I think, is going to be one of the most popular bundles of the day. It's fun, isn't it? 1595. Um, can we get more of these shapes? I just really like them. I think they're very mm. high end. And it can't be easy to actually cut a gemstone into that with, with, with curves like this. There's only 39 of these, so if you do love it and you are, um, 10 have already gone straight away. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. I can't emphasize that enough. We've got people multi buying. I would literally do those in stretchy bracelets or macrame bracelets or gents oh, jewelry. Macrame would be lovely, yeah. Be really nice. Yeah. I'd probably even put these strands with the kit that you've just had. Mm. Oh, they would work amazing. Really yeah. lovely, wouldn't they? Beautiful. So we've called it fancy shape, but it's for me it's like a bamboo shape. Does anyone mm. else get that? Yeah. Or hourglass. We could call it hourglass if you wanted to. Um, well done. Lots of you multi-buying on it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, they are eye-catchers. They definitely are. From their colours to the shapes of the gemstones themselves. Um, yeah, check out those baskets and do stay where you are um, on the phone lines. They work together. They absolutely do. But they would also work individually, I think, too. For your seed beading designs, um, you know, for, you were saying earlier on, for your channel setting and the smaller micro gemstones, they would work. Um, they work amazingly. Let me just pop that. Cabochon, see what I mean? Oh, yeah. The colour combination mm. is just incredible together. And then you're adding texture um, with your eye catcher um, shape itself. Good luck, Sean. Good luck, Stephanie. Um, well done to you, Michael. Congratulations to you, um, Edna. You've got yours. West Midlands. Congratulations to stay on those phone lines. It's lovely, lovely to have your company this evening. Let's move on. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm just curious by joining the band. It's a lovely, lovely combination, but I just don't understand where it gets its title from. It's lovely. Join the band. Well, it's quite jovial, isn't it? Oh, banded. banded <laughs> Take it back. It was me being daft. <laughs> Join the band. <laughs> it's not actually a band. Play on words. See what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that colour. Weren't we talking about uh, lemon desserts earlier? Yeah, yeah. And strawberry desserts. Yeah. Oh, lemon meringue. Oh, that's up there with some of the best, isn't it? A lemon meringue pie. Mmm, bit of sorbet. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Bit like these gemstones, just beautifully delicious. You get all of the lovely textures, you get those wonderful formations and patterns that you would expect from your banded agate, w teamed with amazing colour. I mean, um, to find, th th there are very, very, very few, if any, gemstones on this planet would actually produce this kind of, n almost like a neon yellow, if you like. Um, purple, yeah, granted, you can get your amethyst, but this is, is really exciting. Is, you know, yeah. with, the, uh, with the use of your flora and fauna so significantly at the moment as inspiration, as design, um, in, in jewellery design then don't you think these would be beautiful in kind of like your uh, sort of beehive inspiration mm. nice with um, black spinel in the oh ones, yes um, Ooh. something like this yeah that would definitely work mm. I'm a massive fan of our gates I actually think you know we, we don't appreciate it nearly enough it's affordable, it's rare, and it's really, really beautiful, and it's definitely one of our stash essentials. Um, the fact that we can get it at twelve ninety five for the two strands, I think, is amazing, because at the end of the day, um, it's affordable now. That's not to say that it always will be. You know, who knows? Agate, whilst it's plentiful currently, so was, so, was, so was Ruby at one point. Ruby was very plentiful at one point. It's not plentiful, in fact, it's on the verge of depletion in some locations. Um, okay, moving on. Oh. Don't leave me. <laughs> These, I feel, don't leave me. Oh, yeah, I have.
had that song in my head as well. Who sang that? Erasure. Mm. It was Erasure, wasn't it? Do you remember that? I do. Don't leave yeah. me this way. Mm. I can't survive. <laughs> I would stay alive. That one. <laughs> oh, I used to like Erasure. Still do. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. That's what the team think to that then. <laughs> Didn't say a single word back. <laughs> we just went, that was like, <laughs> really, Al? <laughs> Emma Keep knows who Erasure are. She started singing them. She knows Erasure and she loves a bit of classic 80s, does oh, our yeah. Emma. I've heard, her, I've heard her playlist. You like the oldies, don't you? Um, okay, seven ninety five. These would look absolutely amazing in amongst your. Well, they're the same. Look, oops, they are the same in terms of the actual cutting as the leaves within the kit. So, if you wanted to add this to your kit, I think it would be beautiful. Mm. It would really tie it all together. It would actually, actually yeah. the black, uh, the, the actual white agate. You know, you'd get those tones um, in the actual white leaf itself. It would be really, really lovely as a combination. And um, so. Ten carrots in each. Oh, it's quite mm. tropical, isn't it? Mm. I was looking at a dress yesterday, actually, online, and it was quite all these tropical palm leaves, and I just really like that look. Mm. So you can make, you could actually, I mean, it wasn't actually made out of palm leaves. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, who do you think I am? Lady Gaga? <laughs> just turn, <laughs> turn up to work in a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it, don't oh, worry. Goodness. No, no, definitely not. I'm not nearly that brave. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, it had a palm leaf pattern. You could definitely create the perfect designs, mm. the perfect pieces of jewellery to go alongside that. Emma, on the other hand, she might rock up in a palm leaf. What, what might she say there? Yeah, I just think that's the way you are in kind. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, there just, you go. just one gigantic <laughs> banana leaf. <laughs> 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 Only teasing. <laughs> a bit of a random story. Our, lo our lovely Paul last night, he um, he had a he had a bunch of bananas left on his doorstep. Oh, how bizarre! How weird is that? Open his front door and there's a bunch of bananas there. How weird! <laughs> Really, really strange. Have you got a thing for bananas? <laughs> and and they don't live in like in the middle of like a cul-de-sac or anything like that. They're quite secluded, if we shall we say. Bunch of bananas left on your doorstep. Mm, oh, perhaps you have a pineapple tonight. Ooh. Who knows? Or a leaf. <laughs> 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 um, Okie dokie, right then, is it time? Stop by. Oh, we're going straight into it. Straight into the blue. Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Look at the amazing quality of this. The most commercially sought after um, color of this gemstone. We know it's the oldest gemstone on this planet. Blue zircon, did you see that? In soft focus, did you see the amount of fire and dispersion um, that was coming from this? They are absolutely amazing. Look at this there, see that? Wow, wow. Even out of focus, you get that What beautiful fire I've only got four of them left um, sorry three of them straight away they're already being allocated I'm not surprised by that um, I launched this zircon some time ago on um, on a different channel and every single piece of jewelry sold out um, and Em will probably remember that because um, because of that beautiful colour and it was uh, very much a captive U UK and USA audience but Zircon is extremely, extremely uh, sought after especially in these beautiful celeste blues, don't you think? 22 carats, it's a shorter strand, granted, you've got 6 centimetres but they're double, double stranded and each of those is a standalone solitaire I think, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's not unusual to find this gemstone set into your 9 carat gold, your 14 karat gold or even your 18 karat gold um, and maybe being sort of adorned by accenting um, high-end gemstones at least it wasn't ice cream on your doorstep yeah yes that yes that True. is a good job actually who knows oh it was the commodores that sung that not erasure 
Yeah, it was the Commodore's Bank. Your pardon. Did they do a version of it? Did they? they? Did they do a version? Yeah, I'm sure, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I did like them in Asia. They're very good. Mm. I like the Pet Shop Boys as well. Yeah, I do. I still, I still do. I think mm. they were well. They were, they were ahead of their time. Yeah. If everybody checks out, there is only one of these left. Look how beautiful that. Look at that quality. Look at that amazing quality of colour. It's called Celeste Blue or Heavenly Blue. Um, and the reason why that sort of description is because it's out of this world. It's one of the rarest colours on this entire planet, in actual fact. You think about, um, you think about, you think about all of the, uh, or the uh, how how much other plant life, I don't know, animals, other gemstones even actually have this colouring, and it's very very few. And this can be found completely and utterly naturally. This has had a little bit of heat treatment, um, but like I said earlier on, that actually isn't classed as a treatment. It's just intensifying saturations that would have already been there. I only have one of these left, so I'm going to... I don't want to send one back to the vault. It's too beautiful. Way too beautiful. Okay. Um, Imperial Zircon. Uh, I don't think I've ever sold Imperial Zircon. Is it this... Which one? I'm assuming it's one of these. Let me just check. Have we got an image? I'm going to go with that one. I think it's that one. I think it's this one. It's got to be this one. Yeah, I don't think I've ever brought this to air. I don't think I've ever sold it, Imperial Zircon. Imperial Topaz, yes. Not Imperial Zircon. These are like dazzling diamonds. <gasps> Yeah. Like. Natural Imperial Zoo. I've never even seen it before. I, have you ever sold this, Wayne? Very, very, very few who are saying. Um, expensive? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I've never seen it because zircon, as we know, is doubly is doubly refractive, so it gives you more brilliance, more dispersion than a, um, twice that of a diamond. Um, there's only three of these left. I, I've I've never seen it before, not in real life. I've never seen it in person. I've seen it in books. What? Three of them are left. If you don't, I most definitely will. And do you know what I'll be putting this with? My rubellite from earlier. I mean, how amazing would that be as a combination? Um, I've got one of them left within the vault, just the one. That is dazzling, and it's going to look even more magnificent in natural sunlight, because Zircon likes to show off in natural sunlight. Um, if you love to see fire, then get hold of your Zircon, the oldest gemstone on this planet. Wow. Um, okay, moving on to... Um, Earth Tone 3. I don't know. I just kind of feel like it's a little bit like... District 12 and all that, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's a little bit, it's a bit, a bit mocking, mockingbird. Yeah, it's a little mm. bit like that. Don't you reckon? Earth, Earth Tone 3, why 3? Anyway, it's up next in a bundle. Um, and it is, 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 is which collection? It's coming as a star by. <gasps> and an amethyst. Earth Tone 3, after this. It really is, isn't it? I get that the three is because there's three strands. Sorry, I've just got Mockingjay in my, in, in my head. It's a good film, that. Really good film. Um, one of my favourite films, actually. I think she's amazing, Jennifer Lawrence. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, you have got some really, really beautiful earthy tones. Hence, the th it was the three that threw me. Earth tone three. Three things, yes, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you have got your gorgeous labradorite in rondelles. Um, you have got uh, your wonderful um, natural emerald. I mean, look how vivacious and energetic that saturation is. And also your natural um, amethyst too. Ah, £20.95 pence. Do, 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 do. Sorry, had to do it. The Mockingjay song. Had to do it. Have you ever seen that film, Em? It's really good. Is it? No. Oh, I've not seen it. You've not seen it? 
Hunger Games. Oh yeah, sorry, I was thinking Mocking Jay. I haven't heard a film called Mocking. Jay. It's it's it, it, it's the one of the series yeah. is called Mocking Jay, isn't it? Yeah, I've it's a really one, really good series. One. The books are good too. The books are really Hunger Games. Yeah. Um, so yeah, get read the books. They're good too. Twenty pounds and ninety five pence for three extremely high end and, and desirable gemstones. So firstly, you've got your favourite here, as voted for seven years out of eight by yourselves. Um, Emerald, a member of the Big Five. I mean, look how energetic that colour is, how, how richly, vibrantly saturated it is, and it's not treated. Plus, you have got one of our all-time favourites. You know, it's, it, it's one, of the, um, one of the most historical gemstones, most certainly adorned previously by uh, royalty and also clergy as a symbol of hierarchy, and that is your gorgeous amethyst. And at £20.95, divide that by three, you know, you've got an amazing deal. That's, what, less than £7 each? Well, yeah, it's less than £7 per strand. For emerald, less than seven pounds for emerald. Less than seven pounds for your beautiful labradorite. Less than seven pounds for that sizable um, amethyst. In terms of the carat weight, so you've got thirty carats of your labradorite, twenty-five carats of your emerald, and fifty carats um, of your amethyst. Have we got the sizes so I can give everybody those? Um, your yeah, amethysts are big, big, big statement stones. <laughs> big statement stones. You just fall off your chair. I think someone just fell off their chair. Are you okay? Oh, we just dropped some. That's okay. The emeralds are 20 centimetres and they are um, up to 5 by 2 millimetres. The labradites are 4 by 2 up to. Um, and your amethyst, 11 by 7 millimetres in those ovals. I mean, they're statement solitary gemstones, aren't they? In their own right. Yeah. Beautiful. You could add these as well, wonderfully, actually, to the kit that you've just had. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, moving on to the cabochon. I had my eye on this earlier on, um, and I will confess, I was like, is that what I think it is? I was like, is, is that fire opal? It's coming within the gem collector boxes just here. Um, and with your fire opal, it's not the colour that actually determines the, the actual value, rather. It's the transparency. Um, so, you know, for example, you get your fire opals in strawberry reds. They're often named after sort of food types, actually. Um, you get sort of your strawberry reds, you get your honey, you get orangey, uh, orange colours, um, chocolate, chocolate as well. Um, this is obviously of the, the honey variety. Totally and utterly natural, but it's the transparency that determines the actual value of the fire opal itself. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can't see. A single floor in there mm -hmm. I can literally see straight through it's lovely quality isn't it and that's actually upside down so let me just turn it over um, let's turn it around 12.95 my goodness we've had some amazing solitaires today. I'm gonna to put that back just so you can actually because I think we can see perfectly through that box can't don't you look at that transparency it's beautiful absolute do you want to see it against the skin come on let's do it let's do it against the skin Totally and utterly natural. It's not an easy gemstone to pick up. That's the thing. The tweezers, and I don't want to. Oh. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Maybe we'll look at it on the board. <gasps> and I've oh, also got play amazing. of colour. Look at that. Yeah. So you're going to get these. You're going to get these beautiful, <laughs> amazing glows, and you still get. Look at that play of colour. Do you see the play of colour just there? In fire opal, you do get that in fire opal. $12.95 only for a natural fire opal. Po uh, seven points you're getting here. Um, what would you do with this in terms of uh, how, how do I co incorporate it into jewellery? Um, well, I mean, you could um, obviously wire work it in. You could use cerulean, maybe, if you wanted to set that in some cerulean. Um, a sea bead around it, again. Put it onto some backing nice. fabric. Nice. Prong set it. Prong set it. Yeah. Anybody that's actually got the prong setting yeah. or your um, or, or the perfect. cocktail ring DVD, yeah. just do that on a smaller scale, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, and don't forget, I always endorse the fact that you can always put pen to paper and actually sort of design your own, yeah. your own sort of design and take it to um, sort of a goldsmith if you wish. And yes, of course, it's going to cost money to do so, but you have got gem quality opal mm. here without doubt um, at a fraction of the cost of what you would actually see it elsewhere. 
a fraction of the cost. Get them whilst you can. For those of you that are October babies, you're very lucky in the fact that your birthstone actually <coughs> offers you um, lots and lots and lots of different variations. You know, you can get coloured opal, um, you can get Cuba PD, you can get uh, Ethiopian, you can get jelly, you can get fire opal as you've just seen, you can get dendritic opal, all different varieties, mosaic opal. Um, that's just one of the many beautiful displays. Moving on to... Um, most, I've, oh, I love this. I've had my eye on this strand all show. You've been teasing <laughs> me with this all show. Yes. The Mozambique, is it? It's the only one I've got. Plain rondelles. Oh, these are faceted. Graphics say faceted, this is plain. Oh. Um, okay, so I've just learned this is quite expensive, this one. Oh! Oh, sorry. That's okay, that's beautiful too. Yeah. That's okay. So the one I just picked one. up was about it was just over two hundred pounds. That one. So um, we'll leave that for another day, as we've had quite a high end day. So let's bring you amazing quality high end Mozambique ruby. The Mozambique belt is famed for some um, really beautiful um, gem deposits. With and ruby, you know, exhibiting again those really, really beautiful, vibrant cherry reds. Um, nine centimeter strand, but again, we, we, we sh we've brought you a shorter strand because of the caliber, because of the quality. Because if this was 38 centimeters, you'd be talking hundreds of pounds basically. You're getting three carats of natural Mozambique ruby. The glow is just stunning, isn't it? I'd almost just recreate what's on the strand here, maybe with, yeah. your, with your precious metals. Mm -hmm. Is that not where we're stopping? Wow, these are faceted, um, they're two by one millimetres at 59.95. So oh, I, I'm, I'm thinking about a tennis bracelet. Yeah, yeah. Get some sterling silver um, or, you know, the um, adjustable. Yeah, slider adjustable bracelet. slider bracelets. Just have a section oh, of that on there. Um, can I just say thank you, Elle, for a fabulous, entertaining start and end Aww. to the day. Oh, thank you. Aww. Sleep tight and enjoy the bank holiday with your lovely family. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. It's been loads of fun. <laughs> it really, really has. I've loved this weekend. It's been jam-packed. We've had loads of amazing goodies. We've had some very, very exciting launches too. And I get to spend it with you, lovely lot. And you are truly lovely. I love, I love messaging at the messages that we share too. That's always good fun. You know, having chats with one another and... Um, yeah, it's, and, and you're such a friendly bunch. They are, aren't they, yeah, Natalie? They are a friendly yes, bunch, our yeah. customers. So thank you, Susie. That's very kind of you to say. It's been a pleasure, an absolute pleasure. I wouldn't have it any other way. Three carrots, a beautiful natural Mozambique. That's gorgeous. Okay, moving on to... Mm, no. No, no, Tourmaline. Mm -mm -mm -mm. These these cabochons are fun. Banded black onyx, yeah. Should we do those in the meantime? Wow. <gasps> oh. Wow. They really, really are impressive, aren't they? Look at those formations. You get three of them. They, they're just shy of a hundred carats each. Really, at three pound thirty-two each. Oh, no, not really, apparently. No, apparently not. He says, I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. So you're not going to put the price up, though, Wayne. That's just, that's not what we do. It's not the dumb thing here at Jewelry Maker. Okay, so I can't work that out now. It's too late in the day. My brain stops working. No, no, I was actually... Uh... Oh, I thought you were talking to me then. It's right, Wayne wasn't talking to me then. It's fine. So that's what, £2.50 something, 65 there we go, £2.65, thank you for that Paul, the, you know, I am no mathematic, uh, math mathematic, genius, geni I can't speak, I just literally can't speak now. Um, yeah. down. <laughs> do you know, do you want to hear a really nice, do you want to hear a nice expression that we say in Wales? 
when they when you've been talking lots when you're talking talking lots oh stop bumping your lips as in you've been talking, talking. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh mm. <laughs> no it's like 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 you've been talking loads oh gosh you don't stop bumping those lips do you <laughs> Just talking and talking and talking and talking. I've done a lot of that today. Even when I went home. Seven ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. They're laughing at me again. Natalie, why are they laughing at me? What have I said? What have I said? What's so wrong, Emma? I don't understand. Am I being naive? <laughs> yeah, the more the more I talk, I think <laughs> the bigger hole that I'm actually digging. Apparently, <clears throat> does it not mean that in the Midlands then? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I won't say that then. Um, Caroline, Darlene, hello to you. Andrea, Lincolnshire, Bev, Caroline, you've got yours. Kath, Bertha, Mari. I don't know. I thought it was a really nice expression. Yeah, but it's, uh, it, 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 you're, you're corrupting me. I thought it was a really nice, nice expression. Right then, Tourmaline, let's bring this to you. That's beautiful. Lovely, oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh! Stop. Look at this. Can anyone else see a watermelon? Mm. Tourmaline there. And it literally is pink and green. It's, I'm trying to turn it round because this side's a lot more prominent. But if I put... Can you see that? Yeah. That is a watermelon tourmaline. It's a bicolour tourmaline. It is up there with some of the most expensive. Along with your indicolite, along with your rubellite. What? Sorry, I shouted that a little bit loud. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit too loud. Are you serious? Fourteen ninety-five. You'd pay it for the watermelon tourmaline on its own, without doubt. Oh, um, you know what, you know what, <laughs> Wayne has just said it's the end of the night, let's go just a little bit lower. Really? How many have we got of these available? I, we have just found a, a watermelon tourmaline and then dropped the price. Seriously? That is absolutely incredible. Well done to you, Alan. Well done to you, Debbie. Well done to you, Catherine. Well done to you, Pembrokeshire. Well done to you, London. Lovely to have your company, West Yorkshire, this evening. Super duper duper busy, as always. But then are we surprised at these kind of prices? Hello to you, Barry. Nice to have your company. Oh, 800 check out those baskets. Look at that. I mean, you have got your gorgeous kind of steely blues here. You've got peachy tones. The wonderful thing about tourmaline is that it comes in a real array of colours. Um, you, know, you, get, you get probably one of the broader selections. But it is actually one of the most compl complex gemstones actually out there. Have you ever tried, I'm going to put this to the team, have you ever tried writing the chemical composition of tourmaline? Yeah. <laughs> Paul says he tries every morning. <laughs> um, I, somehow I doubt that. You know, because it looks, it looks like... <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it looks like a mathematical equation, I have to say, it straight away it scares me. Because it's so many, it's so many numbers and letters all together. I find it quite intimidating. This is one of the most. This is one of the most complicated gemstones on the planet. It literally is almost like the entire periodic table thrown into one gemstone. So how amazing is that? How, how rarely occurring, um, and it is a fluctuation within the actual chemical composition that de determines um, which rondelle will actually get which colour, basically. 12 95 for you this evening. Well done to you, Anila, Suzette, Wanda, Kathy, Alan, Jules, you're there as well. Um, okay, are we ready? Oh, my onyx. <laughs> Oh, my onyx. 
dear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I found that really funny. That is really funny. That's a good name. Oh, my Onyx. <laughs> I might, I, you know, you know when you need to go, oh, instead of, oh, no, can we all start saying, oh, my Onyx. Oh. It's just got a better ring to it, isn't it? <laughs> I do love Onyx. It's a beautiful gemstone. It, you can, you, it can come in lots of different colours, um, but in your gorgeous jet black, uh, it, it's very difficult, in my opinion, to tell the two apart between Spinel and Black Onyx. Mm. I really struggle because they both have got... This really beautiful silky lustre. Um, now, um, uh, Onyx is slightly softer than your Spinel, um, but equally beautiful, absolutely desirable, and definitely adored. It is silky, isn't it? It's a really beautiful liquid black. Mm. Um, but, you know, look, again, lots of the biggest designers use it. I actually have a black Onyx carved heart pendant. It's got a hollow center. And it's kind of got like a, a sort of twisted, uh, twisted heart pendant. It's about a couple of inches, I think, in its, in, in, in its size. And it's literally attached to a suede cord. Um, I bought it from Lola Rose years ago, years and years ago, when I was in my early 20s. And I know what price, it was three figures. It was, it was round about three mm. figures, just, just. And that's going back then. Yeah. You know, this is a, a, a gemstone that is used by lots and lots and lots of big high-end jewellers out there. Um, and, of course, we can too. But we can at a fraction of the cost because I won't just sell one of two of these this evening. We'll be actually selling more like sort of, well, 50, 100, 150. Um, only 60, Wayne is saying. Yeah, only 60 <laughs> within the vault. And I do expect them all to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful gemstone, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's... I really thought it was for now, actually. That's amazing. It's quite I seducing. It. I just yeah, kind of really I do think it. of, of you know, a red carpet like oh, piece yeah. of jewellery. Very, glam. very, very mm. glamorous. Beautiful with the rubellite that you had earlier on. Amazing yeah. with your indicolite, um, if you managed to get hold of that. Beautiful with that imperial zircon. Yeah. Wow, as if we brought that to you today. I've only ever, has it sold out? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I've only ever actually read about that. I've never actually seen it in person. So how amazing is that? Check out your baskets if you want to get it. Oh, my onyx. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's got to be said like that, hasn't it? Oh, my onyx. <laughs> it's a good name. That's working out on what? Eight pounds. Eight pounds per strand of genuine onyx. Are we serious? Oh, my onyx. You've got to say it like that, though, Wayne. Come on, say it with a bit of passion. That's it. Oh, my onyx. Sorry. This, I'm finding this... Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm finding this much, much funnier than I should, really, to be truthful. Perhaps a little bit of sleep deprivation has kicked in. Um, check out the list baskets. You have been absolutely amazing this, e uh, this evening, stroke this morning. I've loved having your company, as always. Um, it, it, it's been a jam-packed show. I know tomorrow you've got a very special day as well, so make sure you tune in um, because it is Mark Smith Monday. Um, I know he'll be watching right now, or hopefully actually tucked up in bed because he's got a very big day ahead of him. Um, yeah, but Mark has got some incredible deals, including with the lovely Carol, of course, that absolutely magnificent strand, the finest strand actually of aquamarine um, that we've ever ever brought to air. Natalie, thank you so much. Thank when are you, you back with us? Um, I'm back next Saturday late show. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah. um, so tune in next Saturday. Thank you to the lovely crew. I'll see you now on Tuesday.